Welcome to Friday! <laughs> it's Zero Page Homebrew where we play new games on classic consoles, except for today. We're not playing new games. We're playing very old games. Oh, that's and, exciting. Uh, I thought. But still watching 60 frames a second, otherwise you're missing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, somebody has accused you of always running late. That's right. Always. <laughs> you are always wrong when you say always. <laughs> uh, he is late today. But I don't think. No, I, I wasn't actually late today. No, he was on time. And I put it on time. I, I was in this seat before like the time I claimed I would be. Two minutes before. Yeah, something yeah, like that. So we could have started it, but I just pushed it forward. Oh, is the audio out of sync? I hope not. But I will bump it just in case, because I don't think it is. Maybe we're just uh, our mouths are moving at the different speed than what you're hearing it. How's that now? Is that better? It should be. I hope so. Me I too. hope not. Um, I did upgrade the... Um, yeah, let's try this. Stop. Better. Okay, good. Better or good? <laughs> Better. Um, so today we're going to be playing two games. Hopefully. Um, we're going to play, be playing Stampede um, from 1981 and Keystone Capers from 1983. So way back in the day. And when we, I was 9 and 11. Uh, yeah, so you could have played these back in the day. Didn't, but could have. <laughs> could have, quite possibly. <laughs> did not have an Atari at that time. No, neither did I. I was... Uh, Deprived. Too expensive. They were. They were very expensive. I was looking on a chart. I did have a Trash 80, but anyways. Yeah, you're saying. which... It might have been opinion, more expensive, but... Probably was, and I had a Commodore 64, yeah. which was more expensive too. Yeah, yeah. But I was looking at like the chart of adjusted how much how much uh, video game systems were in today's dollars, and an Atari Twenty Six Hundred was like eight hundred dollars, um, in equivalent dollars for in nineteen seventy seven. So that is that is quite a lot to for parents to buy it for just playing games on. So they, you know, how many quarters you get for eight hundred dollars? Well, you wouldn't get that many quarters because the price has not had not changed yeah, in yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was a uh, two hundred dollars, so you'd get eight hundred quarters. So I don't know whether it's worth it or not. What's weird is that like a gaming PC hasn't changed in price since I don't know, like the nineties, the mid nineties. Like the actual price, like a thousand then, like a thousand between a thousand and two thousand is yes. what you would pay. Yeah. I remember paying two thousand dollars at one point, which was a lot of money, but it was yes. like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And it's still what you would pay for. I mean, you a can you can computer. spend more than that. But oh yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess now you can, to get the top of the line, you would you would pay more. I don't know yeah, that I ever. You could get one for two thousand, just fine. Great graphics card, yeah. fine processor, yeah, like yeah. everything, totally fine. Um, so I want to thank everybody who is watching today, Arena Foot, Splendid Nut, Thrust, and everybody else who is not chatting. Is just sitting there watching in silence <laughs> and I want to thank twitch twitch subscribers Charles and check Gretams ground trooper Johnny WC 23 mr. fix Nathan strum RC 70 retro happy hour sir cat leg sound wizard spiceware s Ramirez 2008 and Tiki Dan K and you can support the show for free as well if you link your Amazon Prime to your twitch Prime and click subscribe and shadow Bonjour. is watching as well he's in the chat uh, bonjour to you, to you as well from France, because we're broadcasting at a decent time for European people. It is a it's decent e time. A decent. It's the evening. It's, it's not dinner. indecent. It's pretty it is good. decent. Yeah, it's not indecent. It's not <laughs> 3 a.m. like we do on some Fridays. Um, so we do have a poll question. I almost forgot. Um, so we're playing some Activision games today to get good enough scores to get the patches. Oh. For these Activision games, and there's like a threshold. My best, because they have <laughs> They won't give you a patch anymore because Activision's a different company. Yeah, now yeah. doing different games, and they do not care about Atari Twenty Six Hundred games, and probably don't have any patches in stock. Probably don't care. Probably know. don't care probably as well. Care. Um, they may have them in a cabinet locked away in a book somewhere in their archives, but one copy maybe. Um. um yeah, so we'll be doing that, and in relation to that, the poll question is, I uh, will put it up on the screen, there we go, start the poll, 
No homebrew for Darcy. No more homebrew for Darcy. <laughs> no, I think I might adjust it a little bit more, though, so that it's not no homebrew Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the poll question is, do you have any Atari pa uh, Activision patches or have achieved scores that you'd be able to get an Activision patch? Uh, option one is, I have Activision patches. No, I don't. But... Option two is I, I have can, the scores. I have the scores, but don't have the patches, which is which is my answer. So I'm going to put in that. Um, and number three, uh, I love Activision games, but haven't tried for a patch score. So uh, well, th what if you don't love Activision games <laughs> and, and haven't them tried anyway. and haven't tried for a patch score? There's it's not, not possible. Not. Watch if you're watching this show. <laughs> That is, a, it's going to be a 0% chance. I'm just that you, saying that your poll... <laughs> I know, it's uh, incomplete. It's, and I did think about that. <laughs> it is incomplete. I, I, I worry that your mic is too close to me and not close enough to you. There. Okay. I'll alter it even more. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am worried okay. about that too. So Arena Foot apparently does have some patches. Ice Hockey, Freeway, River Raid. They sent me the <clears throat> Intellivision patch instead of the 2600. <laughs> no quality control. And a certificate for boxing. Oh, very nice. Um, yeah, that you just get a patch. Like you would play the game, get the high score, take a photograph of your television, get it developed, send it in to them, and they would squint at your photo because <laughs> it would probably be pretty tiny, your score, and then send you a patch and a certificate um, or letter, actually. Uh, patch in a letter saying you're awesome good job for free <clears throat> um and some of these scores that you have to achieve are not most of them are not easy yeah well they're i like, would imagine because yeah. they're not the one to just hand these patches out all and also the place. it's it comes from an age of uh non-participation prize uh, oh. <laughs> actually that's crap i got a participation prize <laughs> playing t-ball when i was they well, did in, hand that out in the 80s i don't know yeah it was 80s. like Late it was 70s. earlier than the 80s. It was in the 70s. Late even. 70s. Yeah, 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 they used to give out yeah. participation. I got a trophy. Blue ribbons. A little trophy. So you don't deserve a trophy. A blue ribbon, I, I can see. It's like, yeah, everybody gets a blue ribbon. Yeah. I, but <laughs> a I, trophy. I, I'm, I'm, it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much for, for just participating. And it lowered my respect for trophies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> even, uh, at, even as a little kid. Yeah. In primary school. Early yeah. primary right. school. Yeah. That's all I have like, to do for a trophy. <laughs> I know that I'm not good at this. Why have I been given this prize? <laughs> it sounds expensive if everyone's getting trophies. It could be plastic, I guess. Yeah, I, I didn't have to pay for it. So. Oh, and let's put the poll on the screen so we can see. Boom. Okay. Oh, most people love Activision games but haven't tried for a patch score yet. So maybe this will uh, influence them and uh, let them uh, try for one. Um. So we got some um, mail, news, and feedback. Um, so I got this. I showed this off, I think, last episode or the episode before. And there's a hair on it. I saw it just before the timer ran out and the show started. Yeah. And I was... Uh, Looking and... My, my yeah. knuckles were slapped. And was I was about, told not to talk about it. He was about to comment on it and talk to me <laughs> off camera about it. But it's like... <laughs> so can you figure out what that does? Um, well, it seems to... Uh, reverse. <laughs> reverse. Well, like it seems like you plug your computer into this, and then it could go into like a CRT. Oh, yes. that is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I understand. So now. it's it's not what most people would buy. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that's what I was saying before. Is that it's like this is the opposite of what. Why would you want, want. this? Why, why do people want this? But uh, I understand. This now. turns HDMI into composite. Um, why would you want to do that? I actually found a very good reason. Yeah, we were talking I, about I, this. I found, I found one oh. that, that's like, okay, this people would use this nowadays. Mm. Um, a lot of people have um, monitors in their cars that only use composite. Oh, because they're like, old. Yeah, they're like, oh. they're old. Um, and you want to play it, plug a game system or a, a, a newer video player see or... that seems fancy to me that you have a car <laughs> that's yes. so old that it only you that like that's that's wealth that <laughs> that's you have right. a car that's so old it only has composite it, that it's only composite it's been around since a time when composite was the standard yeah and, and a lot of them have that so 
but that's not what we're <clears> going to use it for. This is for the 12 hour marathon, which is in two weeks. Um, we're going to have a CRT back here, uh, right in between there. And for people who can video in and who will be like perfect. they're sitting here, right? Yeah, it's perfect. That's exactly <laughs> how, that's it. I think that's exactly how to do it. And I wanted yeah. it an actual CRT because you know it goes with the theme of old school and everything like that but well, so it yeah. suits a person's face better than a widescreen yeah a widescreen yeah it's just yeah. more if we could have a super old screen and be, make it round that'd be even more fit, fitting we, we we uh at times when we don't have a guest we could have uh, max headroom <laughs> on it mm -hmm. he could be the, the artificial guest that's right <laughs> the ai I'm sure guest. there's a, a max headroom uh hey tiki dan k that's dan kitchen there I thought it was Tiki Dank. Tiki Dank. I mean, it could be. But that's what I said the first time he came in here. Hey, it's Tiki Dank. And it's like, well, that makes sense. Uh, no, it's Dan Kitchen. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't work. It does work, but for two seconds. Oh, no. Yeah. So I was you, so excited. I know. You, pl what? you plug it in, and then it, it looks beautiful. As crisp and clean as a composite input could be. Even like text and everything it looks really good um so it's gonna look good for video but it dies after two seconds why because uh, it's defective so oh, I, okay I, so I, it's it's that's not it how will work oh, okay yeah. okay that's nowhere near as bad no no <laughs> what sucks is you buy the thing and, and then it's like oh this is made for this keyhole uh situation that yeah. is not anything that you want and yes. for that reason it doesn't work that's no no it's broken so yeah. i i messaged them and they're gonna send me a replacement which hopefully works I do have a backup plan, which is a, a flat screen that well, we can use. If, it, if it's malfunctioning, is it just overheating super quick or what? Like, maybe? You could just put like a block of ice on it. <laughs> That's a great solution. <laughs> I guess dunk it in some water. Yeah, yeah. You know, you water, could. water we could cooled. Put it, we could. We could put it in uh, mineral epoxy oil? first That's or true. mineral oil and we wouldn't have to do anything. No, it's not, it's not hot. Although enough. mineral oil can break down some... Components? Not the components, but like if you have any glue... Oh. Like if any components are held in place by glue or what have you, it's yeah. uh, not good. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, they're sending me a replacement, but that's a good idea. Um, and this broke. I'm very sad. Oh. The one I use all the time. What part broke? Um, the power or connector for the buttons. Like these lights light up normally mm. and they don't light up at all anymore. And none of the buttons work. None of the fire buttons, anything work. And I'm not skilled enough in electrical things. Well, we can open it up and see. I mean, it might be hard to fix, but it might not be. It might be a connector. Just it might be one thing. just soldering a wire or something. So I'm, I'm guessing what it would be is you would do um, connector tests. Like, does the power make it from here to here? If you and can't if, see what's wrong, then yeah, yeah. you do that. I, I open it up. Oh, you did open it up. Okay. I, yeah. I unplugged, plugged... Um, scrubbed everything down with uh alcohol whatever um cleaned it up and put it back together and it still didn't work oh that sucks so it was going off and on for a little while like i would plug it in unplug it and it would work sometimes and then not work um so it could be a connector and you nothing visible. you plugged it in and jiggled Ooh, the cable and stuff. i did not do that yeah because that that yeah if it's internal in the wire it's then you cut it here <laughs> and rewire it. If, That's if, true. If this, if this does it, then you can fix that for sure. That's it's true. Finicky. Yeah. But, but there's not that many wires. There's nine. Yeah. So it's fairly. Does simple. it use all nine? Uh, probably not. I have people outside. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like video game firing. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it was a very good replication of video game firing. Um. So we had a, a topic of discussion last week. It was actually the a poll about uh, DRM distribution for old <clears throat> video games. Well, new video games for old systems. And this one for the Intellivision, this cartridge, the LTO Flash, has a system that authenticates games you can buy digitally for it. It uh, comes with the code built into it, individualized for your purchase of your digital um, copy of the game. And it authenticates it against your serialized number. Um, so each individual thing is is numbered directly for you. And we had a poll that said, do you like DRM because costs can be lowered? 
You don't have to have the box, don't have to have the cartridge. Um, it's instant. Like, they release the game and you can play it that day. You don't have to wait for the mail. Or do you like physical cartridges? Or the other third option was DRM is of the devil, die, die, die. <laughs> <laughs> and only 11% uh, said they would take the benefits over the non-benefits of, of having a DRM distribution. So only 11% liked that system. Like this, like the DRM yeah. system like this. Okay. Yeah, to, to get it instantly. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can download normal ROMs too and put them in here without the DRM. They're not all DRM'd. Yeah. So, um, I mean, for the Atari, because the Atari doesn't have that right now. So I posed it. It's like, oh, maybe we would, people would want this for the Atari. But people went, no, no, only 11%. Um, and then it kind of uh, went into Jean Bacu, Jean Luc Picard LTO flash because of orange. I don't know why. Why is this Jean Luc Picard? <laughs> I have no idea. Because um, it has no label. <laughs> um, and then it went into a discussion about watermarking individual copies of games to tra track down pirates. So you could forget about the DRM, right? You could make it so you could just put it on the cartridge, but each individual game that they would buy would have something, you know, some digital fingerprint yeah, yeah. within the game saying, this is Darcy's copy mm -hmm. or this is James' copy. And if they upload that version on the internet, it could completely be tracked backwards to that person. It's like, oh, these bits say this is Darcy's copy. Um, Ultimately, like that... And then I they say, that's I a dirty pirate. I like that. I don't mm -hmm. know what you could do with it, because you can't prove that just because it's that person's copy that they did it. Directly. Like, you just, you can't. A friend could have borrowed it. Yeah. And they're the one who... Someone could have broken into their house, uploaded their game, or and snuck out. they could have sold it. Or they could have sold it, yeah. 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 But it's, that well, amounts to the same thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They could pass it on. Yeah. yeah, and but that original person would be blamed, and maybe, well, it would be, it would be a system to blacklist them. That would be the only use of of, yeah. of serializing the individual games, I would think. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, and I was and and I was thinking, well, how how could you do that in on a game like? Like, literally, how would you implement that in an Atari game? And I was uh, talking back and forth with Thomas Jens in private message about that, uh, about a method to watermark or fingerprint the games. Um, and a I was looking up definitions and uh, methods of watermarking online. Um, one of the papers states that fingerprinting mark identifying the channel of distribution, the person who leaked the software. The watermarks are generally invisible, robust, and consist of a unique identifier such as a customer reference number. So a unique identifier is a simple thing to implement. Um, and the... Okay, yeah, sorry, go on. Invisible? Mm, that, I have a trouble with that. That's That's the part I'm trying to wrap my head around, is to make it... Um, invisible. Well, you could encrypt that that uh, identifier, and the person who owns the game doesn't have the key code. Yeah, yeah, that's a way. Like you have to key it in through yeah, software. Yeah, so so when they're checking, they're like they're downloading all these games illegally, <laughs> and <laughs> yes, and then checking them, they can access it, but the but other people can't because they don't have the code. Just like any password. Yeah, um, how hard that would be to strip out of an Atari 2600 game. Probably a lot easier than more modern games because they wouldn't have the ability to have that kind of encryption that couldn't be broken, that would be woven into the software But can enough. you have it... Because it would just, you just do a jump yeah. and bypass it and go to the game. So the game would have to be decrypted well, it could by be. the code. It could be that it's not encrypted, it's just that the uh, game designer knows the coordinates uh -huh. uh, to where to find those. Uh, but that wouldn't make it different because each game would be the same. Yeah, you'd have to make each individual game different mm -hmm. somehow. And then you, you could have a key and a code on it. 
but I don't know if the Atari is advanced enough that that wouldn't be broken in like an hour. Because the, the games are so small, right? Um, there's not a lot of room left over. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a lot of the papers I read dealt with authentication of proof and less with identification. But like, why does that need to be secret anyways? Uh, so the, that they the can't change it? In, yeah. Yes, um, because you can easily... Like what I theorized is that, okay, you buy a copy... And they've got your identification somewhere in there, even mm -hmm. if it's in plain sight, right. or if it's scattered throughout the program in tiny little bits all over the place. Mm -hmm. Either way, what all you would have to do is have more than one copy, more the better, mm -hmm. and you would run it through a program. Um, one program is called Clone Spy. Um, what they use it for normally is to identify different variants of the same game. Like maybe they there's a patch, like version 1.1, so they can have, oh, here's a ROM of the original, here's a ROM of version 1.1. And it compares code um, directly, yeah. bit by bit. And it can even compare, what it does is compares chunks of code too, so you can see where they change the code. Yeah. So you'd run your copy and my copy against each other, and would go, oh, there's all the different pieces of code um, that would identify yours and identify mine as differently. Yeah. And, and then you would in the, see what the difference was. Yeah, you'd easily see what the difference was. And anything that was different, you could say, that's code. That's the, other that's thing, the ID. The other thing is... And you just blank it to zeros. You blank it and, to zeros. And now, you, now or it's nobody's worse, code. you change it to Billy's That's what code, I said, too. And then... Billy's getting a bad <laughs> reputation. And exactly. Billy, he's square. He's one of the, the square he's good squares. Guy. He's one of the good guys. Yeah. He's and always he bumping into round that. holes and unable to get through. <laughs> he's so square. That's right. And Billy would never do something like pirate things. Um, but Thomas sent me some information about it. And I think I just didn't understand it. Um, so he, he theorized... He, he first said how, where you could hide the codes. And that, that, that's pretty straightforward. Um, the 2600 code isn't using all the bits of the bytes. The unused bits can be changed without affecting the game at all. Examples are TIA registers. So any value loaded for storing in TIA registers can be modified with random bits. So there's parts of... Like some, some registers only use 6 out of the 8. Right. Or 5 out of the 8 um, bits of the byte. Um, also, 16-bit addresses are only addressing 8K because the Atari doesn't do 16K addressing. Um, it only does 8K addressing, leaving three unused bits, mm -hmm. etc. So from all these places, you could randomize certain bits. The random randomness is, of course, controlled, so you can recreate it at any time. Um, so he's saying you can use all these bits, all these leftover bits, mm -hmm. for the identification of code of your ID. And even by comparing multiple ROMs, you wouldn't be able to identify all the changed bits. Because 100 places with 3 bits each, so that would equal 300 bits, mm -hmm. there is a 1 eighth of a chance that a byte has the same bits changed. Um, yeah, if everything's even, and you have 3, three bits, there's 8 combinations. Um, 2... Four, eight, yeah, um, and and to identify the original ROM, you only need a few unchanged bytes. Um, <clears throat> so I, I'm guessing from that he's saying that there is some redundancy. You have them? way more things that are changed uh, than you need. Mm-hmm. And so, so when you compare them, um, <clears throat> yeah. But if you're comparing all the bits that you have changed to all the bits if, that I have changed, but that's if you compare two, <clears throat> two difference. Yeah. Yeah. What if you compared three, five, or five? Yeah. yeah. But then he theorized it's like, well, at, it's very difficult, and you that pirate would have to either coordinate and have a lot of co-conspirators. Or that pirate would be buying a lot of cartridges, <laughs> which is, which he's like, oh, that's well, that's a good thing, I guess. 
Um, because in the Atari arena, there, there aren't as many sold as, say, let's, let's say in modern gaming, where there's millions <coughs> sold, or at least hundreds of thousands sold. Um, but I, I, I don't, you don't need to, but my theory is you don't need to, um, track down. All, all you need to do is identify what's, what's different mm -hmm. and change it. Even if it's one, one part of the code, you just need to change that one part. And now it's unidentifiable. You don't have to change it to something else. It doesn't matter what you change it to, as long as it doesn't identify you and your copy yeah, of true. it. So as long as it started, as, um, as soon as you've identified all the places where it was changed, um, then it's a totally different. Um, Unless uh, there's a lot of bits available. He said a hundred. Of... Let's say a hundred. Right. Yeah. So Times could 30. you use all of them? And then, mm. if you only changed one, it would still be clear that it was yours, because they could all be very different um, codes. With a hundred bits, you could have like there's a hundred bits, and they all and identify it's like, you. Oh, you discover, yeah, they all they are all part of identifying you. You have like you could have ten codes in there, and oh, you changed one of them, but the other ten are still you, buddy. But they would be different than yours. All of them would be different they than would yours. All be, they would all be different. Because yeah. if they, they were the to same as yours, yeah. then it would be yours. Yeah. And, if, and as soon as I compare yours to mine, I just zero anything out yep. that is um, different. And now it's totally garbage. It doesn't, it doesn't identify you mm -hmm. or me. Um, unless it was... I, I don't know. I don't know. And I... I I'm not understanding his like that's he is doing that like those calculations of of how many um, that need to be unique or whatever mm -hmm. and it and it gets game code checks the pieces of code yeah so hmm. yeah but we're not breaking yeah I mean that's that's a way is is the code could identify could check the code and then break and not run but then it's just um then it's trying to find out then it's breaking the code the game code so it's so it continues to run but the the remaining bits identifying that darcy and you are the pirates um, that's what i meant okay. when i said there's 10 codes ah, it's like the whole, see, that's your code what is I wasn't completely getting. different your your code doesn't borrow like none of the codes are the same because you don't have like when see. you have 100 digits you can give everybody a unique one yes. so if you don't get rid of enough of them the pieces that are left over fill in the blank because they don't share anything right. in common with the other people so it's not like you're identifying but my thing of having 10 codes was wrong because like you said yeah. that would just make it worse yes. but having one big 100 piece code mean what I was trying and to I'm say a, when I said that was that you would have 10 different spots that you could check. Yes. Yeah. So that that is what I was missing. Say you sold 100 cartridges but, and you but, have 100 spots. But your spots. thing remains. If they're unique, then they're automatically found. Even if there's 100, you're going to see all 100 if they're unique. No, no, no. Um, if here. your code is yeah. completely different from my code... Yes. Then when you compare them, you will see 100% of the differences. Mm. And, and if you don't yes. see them, then that means they're the same, and that means they're not identifying. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. Mm. Um, he's saying... Yeah, oh, I see. So I see what you're saying. So the ones that you take out, it's you don't find yes. the one person, but you find the two people. <laughs> yes. I get yes. it now. That's how it is. Yes. So I get it now. everybody's code is in everybody's um, cartridge, except yours is different. So now when I compare mine to yours, we can identify the ones that's different in yours and, and then different in mine. Yeah. And the and he by process of elimination yeah. he finds everyone else's the code except That's right. ours. That's right. Yeah. And then, yeah. So if you have to make sure there's enough room for enough of those cartridges, 
Um, so that makes sense. Okay. Yep, that would work. Um, and then we both get blacklisted. <laughs> and, and our friends would have to buy the co next copy for us. <laughs> or we'd have to use a different credit card or something. Um, RC70 says, The attempts at it are interesting, but the entire concept of DRM is flawed as its core. At, at its core, it's been proven entirely useless over and over again. It benefits no one. It makes the product much worse. The only way to control digital project products is to centralize use and never distribute it. That's why everything is moving to the cloud. Even gaming is moving to the cloud, where yeah. you are playing the game on somebody else's server. Yeah. And that is the ultimate deterrent because you have never even had the code you've never touched because, the code because the code you're just getting, you're video. just getting video streamed yeah i don't like that no but i, I can't hate it too. i can't i can't give you a rational argument that it's wrong i'm just saying that like well, i can my old my old <laughs> you know old timey brain is like no <laughs> reject yell at like, clouds I, I can't say that it's not all they're saying is oh we don't have an offer for you that includes you getting a copy of the game. <laughs> yes. You don't have to like it. Play but it you, or don't play it. That's right. It's 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 fine that you prefer it the other way, but that is not available to you. Yeah. I'm not offering you that. However, that does open like it's sort of like with pirating um, uh, TV mm -hmm. or movies or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So you can feel one way about people who pirate something that they could have paid for. Yeah. And then you can feel another way about someone who pirates something literally could not get it legitimately. They don't have money. Or getting it legitimately is ridiculous. Right. Like like the only option for them is to pay like an outrageous sum. Yeah. Uh and so now I'm not like legally it doesn't matter. Legal no. legally is legally. This is more like the people like you when you're talking to people about things you are trying to convince them and in this case it can be a moral and a legal uh, argument Usually is, and the yeah. moral argument is kind of lost if the person doesn't have a legal way of of watching a show or whatever yeah. you can per you can totally legitimately say well you just don't get to watch it yeah. but Th that's those like for... people and other people will say uh i disagree <laughs> <laughs> well you it's like movies that only air in a, do a different country or yeah, tv, or TV shows. shows that's a like big one british tv, TV shows. shows that we cannot physically watch here legally yeah so we have to pirate them to yeah. watch them. Like some have never ever come out in yeah. North America. Yep. So they're like, nope, just can't watch them. Sorry. Someone, someone said no the other day for you. that Game of Thrones is the most pirated uh, show like Probably. in history. Yeah. And it makes sense in that because getting the only way to get Game of Thrones and not uh, HBO. And like if you only want to watch game of thrones and you do not care about hbo the yes. only way to get it is at, by blue any time i've looked at it is really expensive and and not like you can't get blu-rays on release night oh no not no. not close and it's and, never and been a, that way that is a huge that is a huge part of watching uh when something is new yeah not not for everybody but sometimes the thing that's new it's like the thing about it that you want is that you're participating with all the other yes. people and watching and you can this discuss thing. it at yeah. the time by the time the blu-rays come out Nobody's going to talk about Game of Thrones with you. Yeah. Like, nobody. Nobody yeah. cares. You'll have to go two years back, or probably now six months or something, yeah. back in discussion forums and just yeah. read. But you cannot participate. Nobody will talk with you about yeah. it. And it's the same with um, games. If you don't buy the game right away, I'm talking about multiplayer online games. Yeah. Um, if you don't buy the, play the uh, game right away, and you go on the servers a year later it's empty it's a yeah, ghost yeah. town right yeah. <laughs> or you're playing against people that are like well above you because they've been playing the whole time and are so yes. dedicated that they're still playing there's it. only amazing players yeah. um but uh, going briefly back to um the games and cloud computing and everything like that the uh downside which is not realized until 10 or 20 years later is that that game is gone forever Ever, ever, ever. I know. And there's only videos of it, people playing it's, it. That's you can never true. play it again. Yeah, it's almost true. It's worse than movies. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. It's almost true of software on phones. That, like, yes. Constantly, like your phone gets updated, and now an app doesn't work, and, and that app is not worth the effort of the people who made it to fix it. No, now, they made their money. They moved on. It's not quite true. You could, with effort, yes. like... 
isolate that copy of it and isolate the the Get operating system version of it. Of yeah. It. yeah. But of course, you also it's a phone, so <laughs> yeah. You the the cost is is lacking security. I mean, they change things for security a lot of the times, right? Yes. I had this I had this program and this is not on the phone, it's on a computer, but I bought this program to import items into my I have a game store, board games, so don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a retro video game store? <laughs> no, um, I wish. And so I, I, go, I paid for the software that would import items into the point of sale because otherwise I had to type them in manually. Yeah. And so for a few years, I had blissfully, I was able to import items in. And then uh, Windows changed and I had to switch to using XP mode and yep. the software didn't work. And the company mm -hmm. that sold the software... I mean, they helped me a bit, but it kept breaking every time I restarted the computer. So it was like obviously not working. Yeah. And but they're definitely not going to rewrite the software for like one, two, three people, whoever yeah. it was that was using it, which is almost nobody. Yeah. And so essentially, I didn't have pro. I just essentially did not have that software anymore. And I have not solved that problem since. I still now just have to type in the items. By hand. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> which that's terrible. Which bothers me. It bothers me more on the why am I doing this in <laughs> the 21st century yes. than it does on the actual like effort. software technology level. Yeah. Well, the effort required is usually not that big of a deal. It's usually just a few items each week. Right. If Every once in a while, it. when I get a huge list of new things, I'm just like, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> but right. mostly it's just the the idea of it that makes it should nuts. not happen in yeah. this day and age you should go beep and it's in yeah. yeah yeah but you have to update you have to update your os you have to update your software and you have to keep shelling out yeah. more and more money because there is a cycle yeah, yeah and the company wants to keep making money too which is fair which they is need to make money to stay in business i get it of, yeah i get it but it's just like change it for change's sake in that case possibly it's the it's the whole thing where you uh, when you buy something, you feel like you've that's done. You've crossed it off your list. Yes. And when you it comes to software, not only did you not permanently cross it off your list, which is true. It comes We're back adults. On the we list. have to accept the fact that constantly you're going to have to redo the thing. Oh, I mowed the lawn once. Why does it need to be mowed again? Um, <laughs> but, but it's a lie. You will have to do that thing again. Yes. Especially and, and the, the worst part is not just that, um, yeah, oh my God, today's car, so oh, let's not get into it. I'm but it's very not afraid just, of that as It's well. not just that you have to do it again, but in the case of the software thing, it's not just that I have to pay for it again. I can't. It's not an option. <laughs> I just, I literally stepped back. That was the thing that was worse. Yeah. It's like I had this amazing technology, and now I don't, and that's <laughs> happening with other things too, yeah. right? Yeah, cars, oh my God. I doubt Teslas will continue to run in 20 years. Yeah, I am afraid of the technology in cars as well not being maintained and updated. What do you and mean? That's what they want. That they won't run in twenty years. Um, because the software is so integrated to Tesla, and uh, the way that everything works in a Tesla, like doors, everything, cameras. But um, why would auto they driving not work? Because uh, are are they internet connected? Uh, they couldn't they, you just disconnect they do update. them. Couldn't you just disconnect it from the internet? It should work as well oh, as it does today. I think they are. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. That's I know. True. I know what you're saying though. I have yeah. the same. So, but I think of the. I thought you were talking about like internal combustion engine cars. Every oh, time I see yeah. somebody's car or someone bought a new uh, ice car, I'm just like, Ugh, yeah. you know, like <laughs> it's it's not that big of a deal. I mean, you could just keep driving it until it's dead, and then you will have lost yeah. nothing. Yeah. Um, but I always think like the secondary market on those is <laughs> diminishing yeah. not yet but we're in a different kind of mindset uh the stella okay. fundraiser is coming up in exactly two weeks uh july 12th um is two weeks away we're going to be playing for 12 hours starting at noon pacific time 3 p.m eastern time um 6 7 7 p.m uh gmt I'm um, playing till midnight, so 12 hours, the whole crew will be here, Erlen will be here, Darcy will be here, and Tanya will be here at 6 p.m. Um, and a new item, new thing, Nathan Strum contacted me yesterday and let me know that we'll have the exclusive reveal of the box artwork of Aardvark to reveal during the marathon. So nice. That is very exciting. 
Um, so let's get on. Yeah, that's normal ish. Nope, don't do that. You don't want Mega Fire for this game. Okay, we're going to be playing. Uh, oh, this is a different controller. Yes. No, that's. Not... <laughs> I was like, look, the light's on. It's working. That's not the broken Magic! one. Magic! <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be playing Stampede. And I'll uh, let you play first. If you can see it, which you can't right now, but you will in two seconds. So this is a game from 1981. You ready? Yep. Go! Broke those calves. Okay, this is by uh, Bob Whitehead. Um, it's a 2K game. And other games he made uh, are Home Run, Football, ah. Blackjack, Casino, Starship, Video Chess, Boxing, uh, Stampede, Chopper Command, Private Eye, Skiing, and Sky Jinx. Oh, too many of them got away, I guess. Yes. Okay. Uh. Unfortunately, this is a game where you have to press reset, like all old games, which is so annoying. Need a remote button for that. Um, I do remember you'd be sitting on the floor in the middle of the living room. Yes. Right in front of the... Uh, that's why they have super long power cables and super long RF yeah. cables. Because it was your remote. It was, yeah. It has yeah. buttons on it that you would use with the games. Yeah. So you can't let any of them go by. You can push them, like, by running into them and they get scared. So that's one thing you can do in this game. Now don't, re don't hit that. Get that guy. Is he, uh... No! no! <laughs> wow. Oh. So, the patch... You get the patch, the trail drive patch, at 3,000 points. Oh. do that. I don't know what you get. I think you just get stunned. Or you die. And I think you get three. You can't, can't let three go by. Ah. Um, so let's go to the Wikipedia page of this game and read a little bit more about it. Kev says played so much Chopper Command. Uh, oh. Now why did you mean Stampede video game? Yes, I did. Uh, Stampede is a video game written by Bob Whitehead for the Atari 2600 and published by Activision in 1981. The television version was released the following year. Stampede is a left to right, horizontally scrolling oh. action game with cattle roundup theme. Um, gameplay. Okay, so let me play for a bit and I'll show you some, a few hey, strategies. Just, how you doing? Come here. I didn't say hi to you. I, was, I had no time. Okay. Now, there's different speeds of the little cabs. There's medium, slow, and fast ones. And funny enough, the slowest ones have really, 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 really fast moving legs. <laughs> so they have very, very short strides. <laughs> and they must be like really short legs. That's I why see. They do you, you gotta, you gotta not lasso them to so, maintain your ability to move. Yes, so the strategy I've seen online is involves the um, the slow moving cows, which are a lot easier to maintain and control. Oh. So you kind of get a field <laughs> of slow moving calves, except for one uh, one area, and therefore you slowly cheatery. No. It allows it. <laughs> no, no, it's, I don't mean it's cheatery. No, no, no. Yes. Stop it. Stop it. Oops. Um, but it's a very slow climb in terms of um, getting your points. Right. But a lot easier. So... So well, already... the, it has the advantage of the game does not end. Uh, yeah, there's no timers. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when you try it the other way, the game ends and you, you don't get your points at oh, all. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but you do get to a point where it does get a little harder. Things. I 
know, the timing changes a little bit. You do want to kind of, I found, stagger the top and bottom so that you don't have to do it all at once. Yeah. That's another thing, like, I've been practicing a little bit. <laughs> and then you wait a bit, then do the top, then rope. Does everybody rope? <laughs> Does every uh, please clarify that. <laughs> You mean, can you rope every cat? Is, is, is that a Sean Kennedy thing? Everybody ropes, everybody rides? <laughs> it's from something, one. I'm sure. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> it sounds like something. It's definitely from... Is that cat being bad? No. Yes, he's always bad. What's doing? Oh, is it plastic, huh? No, we don't want plastics. Let's, well, never mind. Don't look, you got to beat the game. Now, the score I have to get is 4,000. Oh, the, the calves don't... Oh, that's what happens. The calves don't go ahead. And then after a while, you can't... You can't do that. Ah! Ah! What do you mean the calves don't go ahead? Now I'm all screwed up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> 1,100. Um, the calves don't go as far ahead... Oh, I see. ...when you're pushing them. At least the slow ones don't. Oh, no, maybe after reset, maybe after you push those specific calves, they don't go ahead as far. I'll have to watch for that. And you have to mix up which calves you push ahead. Ground Trooper says, I grew up on a large cattle ranch in Arizona. This game should have been in my collection back then, but I didn't really want to play a game uh, with this thing I did in real life. That's true. Like, if you were a cook... In a chef in real life, would you want to go home and play more chef games, like virtual cooking of things? Get that guy at the top. Ah. But yeah, that is a strategy to get them all at once, like push them all at once so that they line up. That's what I was trying to do. How much for the patch? Oh! oh! It is 4,000. 4,000 for the patch. So I'm going to have to rework my strategy. So those, those guys are still going pretty far ahead. The brown, the, the dark brown calves. Um, yeah, they're still going, I think as soon as you hit like eight or nine or hundred or a thousand, that's when they stop going as far ahead. And I think that's just an overall um, upping of the challenge of the game rather than those specific calves aren't going faster going further ahead. There you go. So let's read the manual for this. Oh, okay. Uh, the Activision catalog from 1982 advertised Stampede in the following way. Ah. Ready for a little roundup with Stampede by Activision? You'll have to ride fast and rope even faster. Those little doggies seem to be everywhere. They're all worth points, but be careful. Your old horse can get a little edgy, especially when you take your eyes off the trail. So head out west for hours of fun with Stampede. The objective of Stampede is to round up all of the cattle you encounter. To do so, the player must lasso... Let me see how far ahead they go now. Well, they're still going pretty far. I'd say four-fifths of the screen now. The player is initially only allowed to let two cattle pass. A third slip by, slips by, the game is over. Important caveat to this is the player gets one extra free pass for every thousand points scored. Okay. So if a player was at 2,000 points and not let any cattle pass, he would be able to let four cattle pass before the fifth one ended the game. Assuming he or she did not reach 3,000. Oh! This makes it possible for an expert player to repeatedly beat the game as after 5,000 points or so, the game essentially resets. And the same pattern is repeated. According to David Yancey, there's a bug which makes it so the game will typically only allow you to play in a loop for eight playthroughs. Apparently, however, there's a version of the game with a different binary which allows you to continue to accrue points until the score 99,999 is reached. So let's load up the manual, which may help us a little bit, and you can read out the manual to us. 
So does the game count the pushes, time, or score to decide how far a push is in? And that's kind of what we are trying to figure out now. I think it's the score, but I'm going to maybe reset. I'm going to change up which calf I'm going to be pushing after a while. Because I was going for the middle uh, one. I see what you're saying. Because yeah, it yeah. seemed to be the easiest to get to all the time. Yep, and it lets you split up the top and the bottom. Yes, I think that's a pretty good strategy. See, right now that they go oh, right yeah. to the far right hand side, like really far, their all nose, way. Yeah. their nose touch it. So I'm just gonna get them lined up first. Where do you have 110 points? Oh yeah, I, I did get some guys. Okay, let's do that guy. They're already not going as far. Because their nose was we're touching it. Yeah, they're going a little bit further back. So let me change up which one I'm doing. Let's do that one. Now these third from the bottom are fresh guys. So let's see how the third from the bottom go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you do have to change them up. So that's good to know. So you have to kind of alternate which ones that you're pushing. So every time I get a new brown one, I'm going to leave that guy, which is the second from the top now, and change it. So this is going to be hard, and that's where... Oh, you got That's him. where this comes in. So I have to wait for another brown guy up here. Good. So now I'm going to do that guy. Risky. It is risky. Oh, it's a bit of a reprieve. So I think we've got a bit more strategy now. Okay. Oh, now I can change to the next guy up. That one. It just sped up a bit. Or was that just when the... Uh... Oh, you just oh, lost two of them. Three. That's not how you win. Oh, oh no. Oh. Go again. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm just alternating them too much. I think I should wait a bit. Because I'm just making my life difficult. Right? Sorry, what are you going to do? I am going to wait a bit, because I'm doing them instantly, like right away, which is pointless. Like I'm pushing them, like when a new brown one comes, I alternate. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm just, that's too early. Because, it's, because there's still lots of room. I made it to 1,200, but by doing the alternating, it was just too, too quick. Yeah. Too much work. And I was missing things. Especially on the top, the, the extremes which were very difficult to maintain. A comment. <laughs> this stampede corral must be really big because you fell <laughs> for miles. Our ranch back then was 72,000 acres. <sighs> so close to the size of the stampede corral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is big. This could be in a circle, you know? This could be a very, very big circle. 72,000 acres. I can't even understand that that's so big you probably could understand it if um if you saw it yeah like like comparison to like a state how how big was that would that be a okay which one are short I need another brown one coming but they do speed up too as well yeah like the how quickly they come back to you so I think I'm going to change it up and do that one. Get back 
back up. Okay, good. Another brown one. Let's change it to that one. Should I... Ah! Ah, uh, trouble, ah! trouble, trouble, trouble. Ah. It's, it's helpful to have them doubled up like that because it gives it you is. more... Uh... Which ones are short? I need help. Uh, that middle one is pretty short. Actually, the middle one might be the ah. shortest. That one? The middle one. Oh. The actual Good. middle one. Maybe. <laughs> there is no middle. There's six. Ah! It's too hard. It's too many. Ah! Damn it! I don't know if I'm gonna get four thousand. This game is hard. Hard. I know. I'm not gonna get. <laughs> Let's not be silly. Yeah, Thrust says replace them once in a while with new ones, and that's what I was trying to do. Like, trying to narrow down which ones weren't being pushed back as as far. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're really slow. You can tell when you start a new game. Ooh. Maybe it's a good plan to do the edge ones in the beginning, because it's so slow. That might be a good strategy, actually. Not be bad keeping the the middle two empty. I'm not lining them up together very well. <laughs> You're making work for yourself. And I wonder if leaving two of them for the for the brown ones is a good strategy. That's what I think. I bet because it is. You, it is because you get more, you more of a chance. Cause if either, because they're in pairs. Yeah. Or triplets. Uh, what or I mean wide is, pairs. What I mean is that they are sets. Yeah. It's really just one moo cow. <laughs> or horsey. Uh, Technically. I'm just going to keep them all going. <laughs> Forever. And get no points. <laughs> As they speed up faster and faster. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, stupid. Uh, oh, whoa, you made it. Oh my god, not for long. 701. Interesting, that row continued to run forward. Everyone else froze. <laughs> yeah, the, the triplets or wide doubles are even better. Yeah. Wide doubles are better? Yeah. Y uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's. The other one might leave the screen, but the front one is the one that matters, and then they both. Uh, once a triplet it's off the, is better. Once it's off the screen, it counts. As soon uh, as it's off the screen. Sure? Yeah, I've, I've died that way. Uh, Where the, yeah, the, the well, other even one if won't it's, come back. Even if it's not off the screen, if that only matter. Oh, does it count? But it, oh, does it count if it comes back? Uh, well, we'll have to see. We'll see. We'll see. That's that's true. If you have two, maybe it'll count back up. Because it came back on the screen. Oh, God. Too many. Too many doggies. Ah! Woof. Just in time. So, for I think my ninth birthday party, we rented an Atari. Ninth or tenth or eighth birthday party, somewhere around there. We rented an Atari. And um, this is one of the games that was chosen to be rented for the. For the party it was not popular <laughs> it is not a dynamic game yeah. and it's very hard especially if you have no idea how to how to do this yeah yeah like if you're just trying to rope it rope the calves um and that's all you're doing you die very very yep. quickly you cannot maintain the screen at all keep the doubles yes i think we're definitely going to go for keeping the doubles. Oh, keep the triple. Oh, yeah. Because that gives you... Let's see. Oh. I don't want to... I don't want to risk it. Aww. We'll have it happen by, by a happy accident. All right. If only we could record it. <laughs> then we could look back. <laughs> Somehow. Oops. Uh, what I did you old. do? Might as well do that. Actually, I should keep the doubles. 
And do one at the bottom, maybe. Have to stay. Ah! See, I lost two. I saw that. So that didn't prove anything. Because <laughs> I lost all of them. Uh... And we can't prove it anymore. Oh, well, we can... Oh, no. Oh, Damn it. but you lost two, and then one came out. Oh, because you went over a 1,000. Yes. 1,100. Better. I think the doubles are going to get us further. Did we read? Did you read any of the manual? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on game one, which is um, Keep trying to go forward. Easiest. Forward. Yeah, there's no left or right in this game. Um, use a joystick. Uh, scoring. Black Angus, 100 points, so obviously the, the, uh, the most. The dark red are the least points, so it actually works in your favor that those are the ones that you don't rope the most. Mm -hmm. uh, the light brown are 25, the medium are 15, and the dark red are 3, so that's really good. The numbers on the upper right is the score, yep, and the left is your number of things that you can let go the thing okay. is it would make sense that um that scoring so, oh, I, oops oh game uh, two they move up and down the screen oh my god that's frightening <laughs> never played game two nope nope it didn't come back either and you lost i lost it and it yeah. didn't come back yeah, yeah. okay maybe aligning the pushed ones horizontally nope. Yes, definitely. Uh, special features. No, oh, there's no hints. Maybe you want to look up on uh, strategies. Look up strategies for uh, for Stampede. Yeah, uh, sorry. I was saying it would make sense for the brown ones to be worth less because they move sl more slowly. They're except easier. that... Yeah. Having any difference in their value is pointless because you can only lose three. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So so maximum you can lose 100, 300 points. Yeah, if somehow you just miss those. That's the only difference between them. Yes. If, so if it, it was, is pointless. The score was, is almost pointless. If it was some other method of ending your game, then it would matter. Yeah, but it's... You pretty much have to get everything on the screen, yeah. except for three, or four, or five, depending how far you go. Yeah. So yeah, score is almost pointless. And I'm sure there's a pattern to the things that come on the screen. Like, you get a skull, then you get a, a, a black calf, then you get a light one. I don't know. Unfortunately, there's no tips or tricks in the manual for this one. This one is an early game. I think they didn't do that in the earlier games. Okay, as soon as the brown one comes, I'm going to switch it up. Probably for... Oh, they're still pretty good. Oh, they're still going pretty far. Let's do that one. That one's not going as far on the screen. The long lasso in this game is pretty pretty nice, because most sprites don't go that far, so they must be using the uh, a staggered uh, missile for the the lasso, which makes sense. Okay, what do I want to do? Let me get maybe this bottom guy. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Dangerous. Is that the the multiples they run ahead until the back one 
gets to the maximum point. That's yes. why they're that's why that's they're why better. It's really good. Uh, yes, that's true. So which one is a short one? And also, they ain't, they ain't worth much. <laughs> they ain't worth much. <laughs> they're all pretty far. Let's go for that one. That's worth a hundred points. Woo! Big points. Just stayed on the screen. What's a short one? Let's do that one. I don't think I've done that in a while. Fuck! Uh -oh. Damn it. Uh-oh. Okay. Which one? I'll do that one because it's a single one. Oh, no! 12-19. <laughs> I, I seriously don't think I'm going to get the patch. I'm so far from it. I was just going to say, you're nowhere like, near it. It's not like... even close. <laughs> like, I think we're missing something. <laughs> uh, some strategy. Oh, here, try again. I'm going to try again. <laughs> but I'm not going to do the cheating. That uh, hasn't been working for us. <laughs> the cheating? What's the cheating? Well, it's not cheating. I'm not using strategy. I'm using pure skill. <laughs> pure skill. Which is ironic, because I ain't got no skill. <laughs> oh! Oh! The worst! The worst. Mm, no, nope, game over. Here you go. Your turn. No, come on. That's what happens when you play with skill. <laughs> um, and this is just the tutorial level. <laughs> it is. There's like harder levels than this. Really? Yeah, this is the easiest level. <laughs> okay. I thought he was being a jerk. <laughs> well, this is I was the not paying attention level. earlier. I understand uh, you said on level two that they move up and down. Here, here's That's a bunch a... of strategy. Somebody asked for help in the Atari Age forums. Uh, okay. Man, this is one of my favorite games. Oh, I'll just read through them. And... Sure. Okay. Or you can read them out. Okay, I'll read them out. Man, this is one of my favorite games, but I can barely last five minutes at best. Anyone have any good strategies to survive longer? I will. I try to stay in the center of the screen so it takes less time to go up and down to grab right. the black cows. That seems to be my only okay strategy that helps me last longer. Please, I need help, bad. I'm <laughs> even playing on difficulty B and game one. The difficulty ramps up fast. From the manual, herding is as important as roping. As long as rows are full, you won't have to worry about the black sheep sheep they're sheep no they're not sheep it's yes. <laughs> a lie uh, but that's they're just talking about doing what you're already doing okay i usually knock out the bottom three then bounce the top three keeping doing that until the slow cattle appear on the bottom again then loose last of the top three and bounce top to the bottom three, three. so only wow that actually might be easier yeah, I, that might be. I was because trying you, that once, but I suck. But I was trying to have two of them open, and you thought it was brave. Let's, <laughs> and, uh, let's try that. Let's just go for three open. Or even just try two open. Two open, yeah. But the, the thing about having three... Oh my god, I died instantly about, there. The thing about having three is that if the top three are being managed, then you only have to manage the top three. That's true. That is true. And if maybe like get them lined up first, like perfectly lined up. Yeah, yeah. So line and up then, those three. And then go for that strategy. Eventually it gets too fast and you have to handle them two rows at a time. The uh. black Angus appears every second row that you open up. In the beginning of the game you can you can herd the cattle almost endlessly and rope as slowly as you like. As you progress in score beyond ten K <laughs> the Jesus. cattle will herd less distance forward each time they are nudged. I thought you could only get up to 9,999 even with them. Um, yeah, 9,000 and then it resets to easy This game again. is super. If you can figure out how to get over 36,000, let me know. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's how people are getting points. How? Because when you clear two rows, 
the black cow comes in it. That's what he was saying. And I've noticed that. Well, maybe it's not true. Clear the bottom lines. Now. Yeah, because there's my clots. Oh, what? Maybe you clear new ones. Not clear the same ones. so fast now. But you are at your highest score yet. So I think that strategy helps. Yeah. Of having more than one open. Yeah. And also the points come quicker. True. I'm not so sure about having the top as the open ones. Maybe the middle? I don't know. Well, switching back and forth. Thing because you need to rotate them you to get the black one. Yeah. yeah, not just to get the black one, but also because they don't run as far. Mm. So switching. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, this seems to be working better. <laughs> but 22, 22. 68, that's much better okay i think oh i failed <laughs> watch the high score game on youtube the alternate pushing top three rows and the bottom three and they make and they make the pushed ones aligned yeah okay so i was getting there well if you're not gonna play you have to press reset well you you said that as you press reset so that's right you're that's too not slow the way in reading to, my mind to instill new habits <laughs> Bottom three are pretty close to being aligned, so I'll go with those. Wait, 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 no! Oh, if you wait longer. until you're in the middle, you can hit all three and that aligns them right away. I'll get the better this time. Wait, 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 wait! Now. middle one. Oh my god, so slow. Ding, ding, ding. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And then they're saying don't change up until they get too close to you on the screen. Because it takes time to get them sorted. Yeah. They're still pretty far. They're still pretty far off. Oh, this could be black one. No! Uh, After the skull, it seems. Every uh -oh. oh my god. I'm gonna get an extra guy now. There we go. Skull. What is, what is this lasso doing anyways? It seems to be chopping their heads off and leaving Disintegrating them. them. <laughs> totally destroying their bodies. Uh-oh. And gone. Lost two. Oh, okay. Luckily, 
at the beginning, it gives you a kind of a chance to, to get them lined up because everybody's running so slowly. Yeah. Uh, the bottom. Let's go for the yeah. bottom. And then black one. It's hard even at this speed to get up there fast enough. Perfect. Yeah, that's a much faster way of getting points. Yeah. Way, way, way faster. Let's get three points. Bloop. Bloop. Sometimes... Sometimes you should just herd even the ones you want to shoot. Because the, Because then you can keep moving. That's true. Rather than rather than shoot them. Because I have to. It's gonna be a black one. Like that. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my god. Expert players know the pattern. There might, maybe there's a pattern, maybe there's not, of when things appear. Seems like a black one appears after a skull a lot of the times. Yeah. But not then. But the skull came after. Yeah. Damn it. Ah, oh, there's too cr much craziness. Too much craziness is happening. I think that might be the key is to uh, to herd them as the rule herd them right and only shoot them when you have, have control. a chance yeah that's that's probably a good rule herd 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 get 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 like and there death. I should have heard it yeah, yeah. 12. What was my highest? 20 something? 20. 20. It's, he says difficulty switch time. <laughs> difficulty. Check. Difficulty switch check time. Are we on the wrong difficulty? We're on B and B, which is B &B. easy, easy, and I there's no. Oh, can you reset it, please? That was terrible. Okay, take a breath. Deep breath. Don't hyperventilate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see some exciting VGA tri triple adapters over there of some sort. Uh, no, they're nine pin adapters. Oh, I see. They look they vaguely VGA ish, but they are in fact not. They are. The uh, Quantari. Oh. Quantari adapters for their prototypes for playing multiple people on the same Atari. So you can have four players. I know they're not quite aligned yet. Four players at once for some future awesome sports games that Champ Games is going to be making. Almost missed that guy. Give me my black cow. There we go. Anybody see problems with my strategies? I think it's I think my herding techniques is is what I need to Oh no! Yeah, as I as I say it, <laughs> my herding techniques. <laughs> I need to realize when it's time to herd them or time to just push them back so I can realign my slow cows. Yeah, kill those top ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, the bottom's much better. Ugh. Ugh. Mess 
messed up. Uh, messed up. Now they're all askew. Very good cows. Will I make four thousand? Oh, switch to the top. Uh, oh, yes. I shall. All right. So very all good nice time. Controlled. Very good time to switch to the top. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh two black god. ones. Oh my gosh. Missed two hundred points there. <laughs> <laughs> and died. And died. More importantly. I can see why I want a, a remote control for the reset switch somehow. I mean, ideally... Suck has a hole in it. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Showing off your holy sock. See? It's a hole! A hole! Holy socks! that it points straight down because otherwise people would have been looking at the hole in my sock the whole time. <laughs> Do I need to readjust that camera? It's pointing a lot at the screen. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to get the top ones, actually. Get the bottom ones. Uh-oh. Remember what happened last time you tried to get all talky like that? I know. Failure. Failure. <sighs> failure again. So much failure. RGB mod, there is a remote reset switch breakout option. Uh, there is, but it complicates things, if I remember correctly. It does wreck some games. Uh. Uh, notably, I believe this joystick, when you want to use the second button for certain games, because it takes over that or something. Yeah, I opted not to do that when we were uh, making, when we were installing the RGB, because yeah. I remember it, it could affect things. No! One pixel off? No, I would have died anyway. Uh... Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not, I'm not getting better. <laughs> I thought this would be an easy win. I... An easy patch. <laughs> I didn't have that flood thinking. I got frostbite right away. Of course, I had a uh, world-class frostbite player um, to teach me and to lear learn from. Uh, Corey was oh. here, and he's like ranked third third in the world. <laughs> so really, yeah. So he's. Pretty, he's pretty like, good. Since playing with you? Oh, Which he's always H. Corey H. In the island. Corey H. From the island? <laughs> oh, I. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, makes yeah. way more sense. <laughs> way more sense. Well, yeah. It's just that both Corys are quite good <laughs> at these games. They are. Yeah. Fair. So I. I assumed you were talking about uh, the other Corey. <laughs> yes, Coriel. Coriel. I didn't want to reveal too much information. <laughs> no. <laughs> Even though his name is probably uh, on the screen. No, I only do first names for everyone else other than me. Because, uh oh, for anonymity, just in case. them all back 
then rope immediately after that. And if that isn't possible, I push back the slow cows. And then and then rope everything. And if I can't do that, push back the other cows, then push back oh my god. Terrible. See so yeah, I have time to rope now because I just pushed them all back. Yeah. Then that does open me up for pain. No, just a bit of a bit of time. Oh, they're all out of alignment now. Oh, so much poor alignment. <laughs> I want to understand the pattern of the blackout. It says after you clear two lines. Two lines in a row? I swear I've done that many times in a blackout does not appear. Um, it must be two, like, in a row. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, in rapid succession. Like, without doing anything else. Or, yeah, maybe just really quickly. But then, didn't give me there. But it might not be automatic. It might be, like, inclined to be, as opposed right. to guaranteed to be. So like, when it happens, it's going to happen like in a that. Row. And it gave me a, gave me a okay. There you go. See, that's, that's, that's how some, you do it. That's some proper herding there. <laughs> it is. Okay, now push these back. Push, push, push. Rope, rope, rope. Now I have, some, I have a bit of time. Not that much time. Push. Rope. Rope, rope, rope. Rope, rope, rope. Black. Probably a secret is to, like, get rid of those light cows. And, like, keep, keep the slow ones for a bit until you can... Heard. Get rid of them. And now there's a chance of other slow ones. I think I should change up now. Yes. Now is the time. The perfect time to change up. Uh oh. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! I don't know about those uh, cows up top. <laughs> They're you causing to... trouble. I think you need to narrow them down. I think you need to get rid of the first row or second row. Cause oh, they're good. They're good. They're long. I like them. They're okay for now. No! 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 <laughs> 22.54. Somebody type that? Thank you. I can type. Ish. <laughs> it's, it's still far far from four far so far because it's gonna what's that oh you oh my god i can't <laughs> believe a, a human in the 21st century allowed uh, a peripheral device to make a beep beep no no oh, yes oh, oh. and it even lined them up well it was risky though Oh, I was celebrating, not uh, uh, chastising. Not chastising for my. I wasn't. My nose were not. What are you doing? They were. Ah! Success! <laughs> <laughs> Danger and success. <laughs> Danger. Danger. I can't say I'm not. I, I'm not getting better. Oh, no. As I fail. Of course, you don't say that. You don't get cocky ever. Ever. When you say ever, you're always wrong. <laughs> always wrong. <laughs> Whenever you say saying, always, you're always wrong. You're saying there's times where you should get cocky? Well, I'm, I'm saying you shouldn't use always. <laughs> and while I say should it, I'm saying always. always. You should never use always? You never use always. You should always not use always. That's literally... you're always wrong. Even the t this case of... Saying that, you that, never that say is, always. That that is my. <laughs> ah, my, it's a illogical. It's that a, is my joke, which isn't that. Wouldn't that is fry, much better for having been explained. Wouldn't that fry a 1950s robot for a logical problem? 
Uh, Never 1950s say. 1950s robots are are uh, fried <laughs> real easy slash really really hard. <laughs> yes. Like they're like oh. nuclear. Nu they're like radio radiation hardened. True. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you do? I missed. Missed a cow. Now I've got four lines. I'm scared. That was a uh, Bob and Doug uh, McKenzie uh, quote, by the way. Was it? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I don't know if that's specific. Or not. It's it is. It's in uh, the uh, 12 days of Christmas. Oh, okay. On the okay, I'm uh, gonna switch up the album, or maybe not. No, it's not lined up. You could, you could, but you have to start at the top of the screen. Mm, there we go. That's pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Look out! Oh, damn it! It's El Diablo Bowl. It is Black Bull. Very lucky. <laughs> we, will take, we will take the luck. I'll take it. And we'll like it. Do you know where that one comes from? <laughs> we'll take the luck and we'll like it? No, when, when you're slapped, you'll take it and you'll like it. Oh. I've heard it many times. Smoltie's Vulcan. Oh. What a great film. It makes it awesome that it's like this <laughs> old movie. Quick. I need to get rid of you. So fast! Oh. I need to get rid of those guys. Oh, that is some um, uh, hurting skills there. That's what that is. Yes. That's what we call that in the biz. Hurting skills? Some hurting good hurting skills? skills. You, you okay, hurt. Switch up. You're hurting. Oh no! It's over. Thirty-three eighty-seven. I, I noted that you were close. To, I uh, did too, but I didn't say anything because I would just die. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> okay. Does anybody out there believe I can get four thousand? No. Based on that, there are no people that believe that. They all <laughs> believe that you will fail. Okay. Prove them wrong. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll do it again. And if I. Don't See, come. nobody has said so. That's they all don't want to be dicks about it. <laughs> That's why they haven't said. They <laughs> believe in you, but they're also they truth tellers, you. so they can't lie and say they. They do believe. In yeah, what they uh, they, just they can say silent. nothing, or they can say if you, can't say you suck nice, and you will fail. Don't say anything at all. That's right. Speaking of thumper, we've recently uh, again had a thumper. Bambi thumper situation. Oh, really? Yes. It happens a lot, though. Oh, Kev73 believes. Is that a good thing? But I, what is that icon? The icon seems to be someone hiding behind a mug oh, of ale. Damn it. Or a barrel of ale. Oh, and uh, K E Dan K also believes. He doesn't and believe. claims that others believe because <laughs> he said we believe. We? Oh. He's speaking for all the people. I already missed one. Unfortunately, two black cows came at the same time, that seems... which is normally opportunity. But one was hiding behind a skull, which made it really ch like I couldn't get to him. Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. But I have strategies now. Claw! 
Oh, which don't work. I really want to know how. I'm not sure what else he could have done there. Mm, I don't know. It's just you were in a tight spot. The timing was just bad. Oh, I hate those ones. They're so fast. They're so fast. I don't <laughs> or, know why. Or technically, they're ah! so slow. Technically, they're so slow because I'm right. catching up. To All right, them. everybody. We need you to clap your hands together and wake James up. <laughs> Is that how there. it works? Wake I mean, it's it's to wake Tinkerbell up, but I... <laughs> it's a, full of quotes today. Full of quotes. Uh, Damn it! Trump says, "Of course you can. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Maybe. Maybe." So not. more reserved uh, bit of encouragement. <laughs> yeah, it is funny that the slower the uh, cows go, the faster their feet go. <laughs> <laughs> they're, th that only works if they're. Sh their uh, legs are really <laughs> short. It's fun in that uh, has decided that this must be an excellent game because uh, he drove home from work and we're still playing. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be excellent. It just has to be a challenge yeah. because I want to get all the patches. But we may move, be moving on and taking this to a second day. Actually, I almost guarantee that that's going to happen. <laughs> Just a rows and rows of black cattle that are just going to boost my score up immensely. Without uh, tripping you up. Yeah, and I'm able to get them too. <laughs> <laughs> but it does seem the hey. more I clear... Hey. See, I did that thing where I look at the chat and talk to you, but it, it doesn't make chat really doesn't much respond. sense. Okay. They're not looking at me anyways. They're looking at you on the screen. They are herding and roping. Okay. Black one can come. Yep. Ha ha! You figured a thing out. I'm getting an inkling for it, but not a guarantee. Is black one gonna come? Yep. Oh, death! No, almost death, because I got an extra. Hard. Um, they did say on that page that at a certain point you switch it down oh, which to I, two. To two. Oh, damn it. I'm dying. That's true. And I have not been switching up the cows either, from top to bottom. Uh, you have been. You, you're you're doing that part right. Okay. You you do it when Dan ABC has joined us. Hello, Dan ABC. <laughs> But yeah, I did not reduce it down to two, which definitely would make it easier. Yeah, up around two thousand, maybe I should start, I think, start doing that. Uh, it, I think it switches it up, and I think f managing four while shooting two is still still hard easier than managing four while shooting one because i think i think shooting one is not just slow but i think it's actually harder and when you switch that 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 yeah, i hate yeah. that pattern yeah gets me every time um, I didn't go for it when you switch to three and three your scores went up not just quicker but also oh, like, yes. objectively they went oh, up like way, you last longer way and up. so uh, switching at some point to four and one, I think, will still be doable. Ooh, I think I'm going to switch right now. Take advantage of this. I remember playing this when I was nine and just hating this game. And not understanding it and, and going, why is this game such a short game? Like, who wants to play this short game where you wrap, you rope like five cabs and then you die? Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was that short. Because if you don't know what you're doing like this, I still don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, you know. And a black cow. Oh, 
Switch up. Oh! Oh! Okay. It's risky to switch up. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Oh, Tam, Tam 9000. 9, <laughs> Get them mooses. Get them mooses. We got all the mooses. <laughs> we totally got the mooses um, first thing. Now. This next game, just like Stampede, is why I started the game off uh, already playing and I didn't put the cartridge in because, oh, because it's finicky. These old cartridges are, oh, it's interesting, uh, <laughs> correct. I'm just going to plug the Atari box because that's too noisy to hear it ten times over. Maybe playing this off of Aren't you supposed to uh, clean it clean it with your uh, your middle toe? Uh, oh. There we go. I did clean it. Um, with your middle lot. toe? <laughs> no. Alright, no, well that's maybe try that next time. There we go. Keystone capers. What you need to do is catch the thief. And go. <laughs> Uh, go to the left and go up the escalators. Ah! Oh! Wait, so, did I get points or take damage? So this game was written by the brother of somebody in the chat. Oh. The brother hey. of Dan Kitchen. It was written by Gary Kitchen. Oh, I see. Uh, the size is 4K. The other uh, Atari 2600 games that Gary Kitchen made. Uh, our Space Jockey, oh. Donkey Kong, the ar arcade port, uh, Keystone Cabers, and Pressure Cooker. So you can see the little map on the bottom. Yeah. So the escalators are on, the, are the on elevator? either end, I and the, the elevator. elevator's in the middle. Yeah. I took the elevator and I hadn't quite realized which. Do I want to avoid that thing? Insert fully, pull back slightly. I will try that next time. Yes, it is Gary's game. Um, and our goal in this uh, no, game... No, that's not where I want to go! <laughs> and you can't get off the roof, by the way. So I'm stuck here forever? Yeah, until you die. What? Ten seconds. And then you get another life to try again. That's not seconds. Uh, counter points. <laughs> counter time points. I'm uh, going to just keep running, because I never give up. Keep going. Even if it's just running around looking busy. Busy, busy. Uh... Woo! Woo! Okay, go to the le re left, yes. Mm -hmm. Jump over that. There you go. Pick up that. No, that's all good. Things that are... The things that can kill you are flying things and radios that blast. Actually, I didn't see him this time. On the oh, but he's down there. He's, he's still gone, so go up the escalator. Jump on the escalator. It saves a tiny bit of time. When you jump on it. I get you. I have to hit him? No, you just touch him. <sighs> so, oh. our... Oh. Funny how much Keystone Capers looks like Laser Man 2000... 2003? <laughs> I don't know What's Laser that? Man 2003. It actually does save time by going on that elevator. It definitely does. Because I usually take the... Es jump over. Um, I usually take the escalator. Oh, I got some money faster. Jump on it. Yeah. There's an optimization to, to be able to jump on that. Get back here, you! So we're going for 35,000 points. Oh, no, no. That's so you're only f you're fifth of the way there. No oh, problem. Good. No problem. Keystone Capers is a video game published by Activision for the Atari 2600 in April 1983. Later ported oh. to the Atari 5200. Oh, good jump. Atari 8-bit family, uh, ColecoVision, and a 1984 MSX. 
Inspired by Max Sennett's slapstick Keystone Cop series of silent films, the objective of the game is for Officer Keystone Kelly, the player, to catch Harry Hooligan before he can escape from a department store. Keystone Capers was written by Activision designer Gary Kitchen. Why is this guy not stealing stuff? He's already stolen. Oh, right, uh, right. I, I, he's got it hidden on himself, I'm sure. Somewhere. You have to duck these planes. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nope. right in the face. <laughs> See, and you're already a third of the way to getting your patch. <laughs> it gets harder. <laughs> I won't be uh, much harder. I won't be getting a patch. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Splendid Nut says, nice, we have two kitchens. Oh, Gary is here. Oh, hey, Gary. The person who made this game is watching watching the show so he can provide helpful hints when we get to really high high level and when we start dying i didn't even notice that cut off harry hooligan using the lift so there we there you go you gotta jump tackle him too does that save time i always jump tackle him just for fun this was definitely one of my favorite games as a kid mine too this was just so um like colorful and dynamic and and uh, oh, it's on its way down. Oh, I think it would have been better to. You might as well commit now. No, nope, he's right above me. Go, there you go. He's gonna perfect. Come. Coming to Papa. Nice. What Come is on. happening? Nobody knows. What's happening? Oh, cause oh, cause he, three things can't be on the screen at the same time. No! Oh, no! I pressed down too, but too late. Never, I've never seen that before. That's interesting because the moving thing was on the screen and uh, what's his name was on the screen. Harry Hooligan was on the screen. So it was programmed in that you had to wait till he got off the screen. That's what happens. I guess the elevator knows it's too busy right now. I'm not going to open the door. He can go down. He can go down automatically. So you Nobody have to be really that. quick. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. Oh, it's called you're not cheating. Make it. Yeah, you have to go back to the elevator. The escalator only goes up. You have to go back. I can't do that. So to use the elevator, you have to be very, very, very sure that he is close to you. Oh, I'm done. I didn't get anywhere near the the required points. Okay, reset. I quit. <laughs> Reset. Reset. Oh, uh, yeah. Press. The I don't have to do that anymore because I'm uh, playing. See, I lose like a half a second. Oh, I'm, not, I'm only kidding. I would do it. <laughs> you will? That will help. <laughs> <laughs> what? How come yours was like right there? Uh, it's just good timing. But it's like because it was on the second level you did it? No. I did it every time except mm. one See, time. He's not, he's not close enough. I'm going to have to take this. Because he'll just turn around. Is it randomized? I thought the elevator started always at... Oh, maybe because you died the first time and then it continues on? It, it was timed up mm. perfectly it was. until I did a thing. <laughs> and attack! <laughs> else any other hints no the pulsating item i believe is a radio playing this is on its way down no it's not why would that hurt you um which radio uh i don't know yet he, he has sensitive ears <laughs> it's blasting propaganda and he shouldn't listen to it so he has to Leap over it. He doesn't have time for rock and roll. No, it's no time for this rock and roll. It's it's in his way, I think. That is just taking up the whole the whole space. You get bonus for time that's left over. Let's see. Yes, you do. That's quite quite good points too. Mm -hmm. A hundred points for each one, so definitely want to oh it's going up it's on its way up 
It, it, you know, I th good. I'm sure that's his his uh, I'm sure that's his nose. Which to the front? Yep. But I keep thinking that he's, he's looking backwards. Too. I keep thinking really? the back of his head is the front of his head. <laughs> but he's got no facial I'm like, features. He's like, ah, it's yep. totally flat on that side. This is an eight-bit game. <laughs> no, I'm to... using this thing called my imagination. <laughs> an eight-pixel game. It's only eight is pixels. Is it four wide. bit? Four bit. Huh? No. Um. So it is or isn't eight bit? It's eight eight bits wide. Yeah. Eight pixels wide. So and things are addressed. So it does not qualify as eight bit. Oh yes. It does. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were telling me I was wrong. No, no, you're not wrong. I'm I'm reinforcing your rightness. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> and I missed the elevator, and it's on its way back up. Totally pointless getting it. I think that whatever the difference was, it's that I did something better. What's happening in the chat? Can you read it out? <laughs> uh, it's a radio, a jukebox, a cathedral radio. It's an antique radio with sound coming out of it. People in Brazil who didn't have the manual thought it was radioactive material. I was told. <laughs> Thrust, smiley face. That's funny. Uh, the criminal is smarter. He just runs behind it. Oh, the the radio. Added because our dad was an antique radio collector. Oh, okay. For those wondering about my graphical hack of this game, here's a link to it on Atari Age. And then there's a link. Ah. Is that coming down? Is that coming Did down? your dad like it? Question mark. Is that coming down? It's coming oh, down. My Atari. Time. Hey, it's Atari Cat. There? Oh. No, I'm definitely not going to get there. Oh, I think I can take the elevator up if I get there quick enough. Duck! Nope, Sorry. I will not be able to get there quick enough. Damn it. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, it right robbed, in the face. Robbed me of my time. Oh, ducking under that thing. I don't think you can jump over it too easily. It's I jumped over possible. it every time. Oh, because it's really high now. Yeah, it's high now. Oh, but every time I just jumped when it was low. You've gotten really far, I guess. Yeah, I'm on, I think, one level above you, maybe. Or the level that you got to. I think you just got hit in the head with a plane too many times. <laughs> <laughs> Explains everything. Oh, missed opportunity no, the with down. the elevator. Oh, it is on the way up. Damn it. You but really that means, gotta watch it. That Can means you... next time. Uh, that means next time that it will be there. Because it, it maintains its, uh, it seems to be maintaining its sink, anyways. You better be quick. I know. Well, you don't easy. have time to sit, go underneath bouncy balls. <laughs> or duck planes. Oh, oh my no. god, no, no. What is I'm it? Very is it close. taking I'm very uh, close time? I see. I can get them. Ten units of But I counting. won't get any points. Okay, I have to watch the elevator. It's going down, but I... Oh my god, I have to be right in the middle. Yeah, just jump over it. I don't think I'll make it. Right in the face. Can you jump over it? When it's at the bottom? Yeah. Like, easily, though? Well, it's... Why would it's... it be harder to jump over it when it's at the bottom? Oh, because it bounces up higher, faster than it yeah. bounces down. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. It's not there anymore. Yes, it is. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, you got oh, my God. so many things are happening to you. <laughs> Very bad things. The cats are. You're gonna get in trouble. The cats are distracting me. <laughs> Hopefully that's not visible on the screen. The cats are fighting each other. Yes, they're fighting. Oh my God! They're terrible on this level. Time out. Up. Oh, I do have one more life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Elevator is not in alignment. It's going up. Anything in the chat about the ball? About jumping over the ball? No. Oh, they're not being very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> can you jump? Can you jump over the ball? Can you jump over the ball? Please help. 
and and I don't mean easily, but like at all. Like, is it even possible? Oh my God! They're too close to me. Lots of duck. Lots of radio is coming. Next level. If I jump over them. I should be able to catch up with this dude. See, I think it was perfectly timed for you to jump over it. If you can jump over it. Yeah. Can you stop attacking the no. other poor gray cat? See, my score Three is units. barely going Two up units. because I'm not finishing with very much time. Is that levels. the only way you get points? It seems uh, to be. No, you, you pick up things, but it's oh, so I see. little points yeah, yeah. that it's like pointless. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's going up. Jump. No. No, because you stopped. <laughs> you run at it with a... Madness in your heart. You're not <laughs> going to get the score this time. Just jump over that red thing. Red thing? The red ball. Just jump, jump. over it? Ah! See, you just jumped over it. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on the screen. I know. It was below you. Oh, it I'm was on the screen, it. but it was below you. Eight seconds. Martian jump. seconds. Oh, no. So few times. Is there an official Mars day like they they've said yes this is a day they don't change the uh, a day is defined as as um sun up sun spin. down yeah oh spin one rotation yeah. yeah which is the sun up sun down um and therefore it's less time or more time it's uh it's very close Yes, time your jump when the ball is moving towards you downward in its cycle or duck under the high bouncing balls as they move uh, uh, as they move above you. Yeah, I want to try and jump over them because then you don't have to stop. So let's read about. Let's read the manual and some hints from Gary Kitchen. Tips from Gary Kitchen, designer of Keystone Capers. Gary is a top-notch designer with a great variety of interests. Besides playing video games, Gary likes to read fiction and draw with pencil and charcoal. He's a natural at ping pong too and loves to travel. We've, we're glad he found his way to Activision. Has anything, uh, has anything changed in your biography there? <laughs> Are you still uh, a natural at ping pong and like to read fiction and draw with pencil and charcoal? He says, hi, gang, I'll begin by saying one thing. Don't get stuck on the roof because, surprise, you can't get back down. To avoid this bar embarrassing predicament, stay behind the crook and don't go to the roof until uh. he's up there. As your score rises, the beach balls bounce higher. Oh, those are beach balls. I guess they are pretty big. It's bigger than his head. Um, don't forget about trying to jump over them. Instead, duck. Also, the biplanes and shopping carts start coming in waves. So learn the rhythms and do the keystone, keystone strut to the tune of the shopping carts. It's jump, run two steps, jump, run two steps, etc. To the biplane beat, it's duck, run three steps, duck, run three steps. Learn to adjust changing rhythms. Also, to save yourself a few steps, have Kelly jump onto escalators. He'll be halfway up already. Now, go out and get those guys. And when you take a break, write to me. I want a full report. But luckily, he's in the chat, so we don't need to write to him. We can just uh, talk directly. Yeah, I want to try and jump over those beach balls. Nathan Strum is saying, I'm getting nostalgic for department stores. Requiem for Sears. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Look at that. Noises. Could be cats. Could be intruders. Could be next door. Dan ABC says, You move faster if you do just do jumps on the easy first levels. Really? Jumping is faster than running? That's interesting. Of course, you can't... You're probably saying that because you can't really do a lot of jumping on the higher levels because there's just too many things to duck, over, duck under. Okay, the elevator's coming back up, but you're... Oh, you missed it. Oh, 
get on it. I wanted to run into that airplane instead. <laughs> I mean, it's always an option, is running into the airplane instead, instead of going on to the uh, elevators. No! Uh, let's see, points. Scoring. Uh, points are each earned each time a crook is apprehended. The sooner you catch, the more points you'll get. Crooks 1 through 8 are worth 100 times the amount left on the bonus timer. Crooks 9 through 16 are worth 200 times the amount left on the bonus timer. After your 16th arrest, each crook will be worth 300 times left in the bonus timer. Also, every recovered money bag and suitcase is worth 50, so they're not inconsequential. They're worth a little bit. But, I mean, they're... Oh, yeah. Good decision. Actually, we should watch out for each other for the es for the elevator. Ah. So that we can know. Uh, Dan says, I believe you move the same one pixel per frame horizontal speed when, you ju when you're jumping. Usually games do that. The old games, they don't, they don't let you jump faster than you can run. That's kind of... It would make it weird. It, it wouldn't be too much of an advantage in this game. Because there's so much stuff that you have to... Um... No. I think the timing is so yeah. off that ducking under it is actually faster than going back and then Especially when under. you take into account the cost. Well, you're going to be right in the center. Yeah, right in the center. Exactly in the center. Ooh. There's only like a couple pixels different. Different. Boo! <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not goodness. It's the opposite of goodness. Then no! You to, then you have to duck too. I, I, I pulled on a joystick, but too late. Wait, oh. Boo! Here, you go. Reset, please. I need that extra second, half second. And go! Half second of points. Get that extra hundred. Oh, and you have to watch the elevators when I'm approaching them. If you could, please. Yeah. If they're going to be... It's on the bottom round. It will be coming up. I don't think it I'll make it, It will be too though. late. <laughs> yes, it's already there. It's too late. And gone. Gone. Okay. That's better. It's better that it's gone than it's empty. Yes. And it is weird that prizes. the timing seems to be random. Because when I first played it, yeah. I went up the elevator every time. Could you have died once and then... I, could I have? Yes, I could have. <laughs> I do not recall if I had. Uh, explains why I had so many points. Yeah, I'm going to miss it again. It's already down. Mm -hmm. Game is good. Implementation is better. That's what Thrust says. Yeah. Yeah, the... the the programming of this is incredible, um, especially the escalators, the moving, is it going down? Up. Oh. Nope, it was going up. <sighs> you would have had to time it perfectly Pretty to get quick. in there, though. You That's probably, true. You're more likely to have missed it. missed it. And actually, you might have ended up chasing them back the other way like I did that one time. Yes. Yeah, dangerous. That too. Like, not only do you have to watch the elevators, but you have to make sure that going on the elevators... Elevators even... coming down, and it's it's looking like you might have a chance to get on it. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh... Yes. Finally, get to use the elevator. Off we go. Save for the time. Off to the races. I mean, you are in the races. You're not off to them. You've <laughs> arrived at the races. Hooray! Look at all the points you're gonna get. <laughs> Jump! Woo! Let's see. I think I was... Um... Elevator's going up. Okay. So. Thank you. I'm right by it. Oh, it's coming down! But it's... Yeah. You do save quite a bit of time by going on it. Mm -hmm. Some weird noises going on. But they're outside. I don't know if I saved time there, but some 
creaking strange noises. Yeah, the first two games I got my patch on Frostbite and Spider Fighter. Spider Fighter is not easy, but I did achieve Spider Fighter in two tries. Frostbite in one. Uh, watch the elevator. Oh my god. Elevator's down now. Don't it's suggest no. you won't have no. time. No. No, and I think it threw me for a loop thinking that I can easily get other patches. <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to be the case. This may be harder than I thought. I was getting pretty close on Stampede. So I think with a little bit of luck and a bit more practice, I could possibly do that. Oh, elevator. But I don't know going if it's down. going up or down. It's going down. Okay, for sure. Nope, nope it was going up. up. <laughs> that would have been really good. And picking no, it wouldn't have. It would have sucked. It would have sent you the other way. It, it would have been the worst thing. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. It would have sent him downstairs. Uh, no, he was coming towards the middle. Yes, and that's what happened to me. He was coming towards the middle. He turned around and went the other way. Uh, and then went down the escalator. Because he runs away from you. He does, but I think he was close enough that... No. It would, no. You're trying to convince me. No, I'm... I am, I am certain. I'm certain. Any bonus. Boo! Terrible bonus. Waste of... A waste of time. <laughs> it is a waste of time. Is it coming down? Yes. Perfect. And it's... It really is pretty much perfect. Nice. Maybe I'll get some some points and just run from that plane run Jump! oh no now i will not get points once you hit your head on something you're gonna end up with like 200 points at the end actually it's not too bad not too far the elevator made it so that you might not uh completely suck the good thing is if he careful careful yeah is yeah, on yeah. a screen that guarantees that when you are on the screen with him there are no enemies on that part. Oh, that's how they get around. The uh, two, the limit of two. Is what? it coming? Uh, I don't know which direction. Oh my god, wasting time. Nope. Wasting time. Yeah, that's how they get around the two sprite. He got around the two sprite limit. Ooh, stops. Which is very, very clever. But as we saw, the elevator has to have a delay when there is already something on the screen. Oh, In the face! My God. Airplanes to the face are very dangerous. Yeah, they hurt you a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was trying to figure out when we saw him running past the uh, jukebox, but it was when he's above you. Mm. Yeah. That's the only time you'll see him running on a level. But you're not on. on the same level now. Watch out for super fast things. Oh, oh no! Can't get hit again. halfway there. <laughs> well, that's the best I've ever done, which is always something you should strive for each game, is doing better. Yeah. Oh, I don't know which way. You're my elevator. Uh, nope. It was... It's going up. Yeah, I, I, I forgot to do my, my one job. <laughs> you had one job. Plus the other jobs. Oh, that was... That was like, hard. I'm supposed to say duck, and I didn't, and then you jumped. It killed me, like, one hit. I think yeah, the, the planes airplane, are getting more dangerous. Airplane always kills you. One hit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Your one job is also... I didn't do it, and I could have gone up that... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh! Dock! Dock the airplanes! God. Now it's getting, like, so frantic that you're, that you're like, Oh my god, is it, what's coming towards me? Do I duck or do I jump? 
Ah! No, I wouldn't have had time. Just don't know it's just the so much, there's just so much happening. <laughs> that, like, how am I supposed to pay attention to the elevator when there's so much drama and, 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 and terror? It's true. Oh! Elevator! But it's I don't know which way. <sighs> it was going up. It but was? again, it, but again, uh, it would have been no. It would have been perfectly timed to screw you. Yeah, I mean it's hard to get on the elevator there because there's things coming too. Yeah. Can't get hit again. It's game over. Yeah, and actually taking the elevator to the top at that point would have been bad for you. It could have been. Because he would have gone the other way, and you can't get off, but he yep. can. Yeah. Yep. This, oh, my God. There's no Two way. Two balls now. No, there's no way. Like, every game, you get fewer points. Like, <laughs> almost all your points come from the first two games. That's madness. <laughs> it is madness. That is mad. Like, that is... That's like... Punishingly mad. <laughs> it's like, it's, why even have points? Well, those points don't even count. It's like, <laughs> it's like a BS score. The fact that most of your points come from the beginning, because everybody gets those points. That's like giving everybody a million dollars, and then they all go to buy houses, and suddenly all the houses are a million dollars more. It's like free points that don't matter. Oh God! Now what do I do? Uh, he's the other way. You have to take the elevator back down. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Maybe. No time. He's going to take the elevator down. And if I catch him it, exactly right, but it still has to go all the way back up first. Where is he? Maybe. Did you Maybe. jump in there by mistake? No. I didn't. It was just not a good decision. Okay. Oh, he's already started running the other way. <laughs> because he already knows you're coming down. Oh my god, this is hard. <laughs> Funny the thief does not use the moving staircases. Yeah, he uses like locked, like locked doors at the end somehow, a, a stairwell that you don't have access to as a cop, Crazy. but he has keys for somehow. How do you avoid the flicker when both are on the same level and the screen? There's, when what are? There's only ever two items on the screen. Feel pointless. Like which, which, which are on the screen at the same time? Thief does not. Oh, the thief using the moving staircases no. on the screen at the same time. You can see the elevator on the camera image below the back. Your black square elevator is grayish going up and down. The crook is the white square. Yes. Yeah. And that gives you. We're just not paying attention. No. <laughs> <laughs> and by we, I mean I. I mean, in the higher levels, there must be a strategy, an elevator strategy, right? Where you use the elevator to catch him quicker. Because running through the whole thing is not, you can't do it fast enough to get any bonus points. No. And you're just slogging through, going really slowly and getting 500 points maybe in the end. That goes, that goes like... 300 points just standing there with my uh, <laughs> my eyes going oh, what's, happening? what's happening okay an elevator is no good it's on the top elevator yeah to take the elevator he has to be very close to the center of the screen to make it worthwhile like within you know a fifth of the screen like the, the middle quarter of the screen to make it worthwhile Otherwise, he he knows when you're on your way. I think that's when he turns around, is when you're on your way. If Kelly and Harry are on the same level on the same screen, no, no obstacle comes out. Yeah. yeah. That's how he... If you notice that there is never the enemy, you, and an obstacle on the same um, horizontal plane. It always disappears uh, when you're chasing. Chasing the bad guy. no flicker and and it works out really well like you don't notice like that there aren't obstacles on the same line because you're so close to him at that point anyway that you're gonna get him 
really quickly, so it's not a big deal that there's not uh, an obstacle. And of course, the beautiful Activision sunset in the background, and uh, very nice skyline of the backlit buildings using the play field and the background colors for the for the sunset. Very simple, but nice touch, because the uh, player characters never get up that high, so you can do whatever you want up there. And I'm guessing, how did he do that? I'm trying to figure out without cheating how, how the escalator was done. I don't know about that uh, elevator, so... Oh, it's probably... One is a player. How is it done? Definitely one a part of it is the player. There you go. No! Oh, oh no. <laughs> Missed it, and you got hurt. Well, when I got hurt, I thought that was it for me, and so I stopped playing. Oh, that's... You just... <laughs> yeah. What happens with the moving staircases? Do you remove those two? Yeah, that is the question. When you... Oh, I bet they do get removed. I get hit by those radios more than anything. <laughs> Terrible jump. They are pretty wide. Yeah, the moving staircases must get removed. When you and the enemy, when Harry, are on, the, on, on at it at the same time. Because it must be using a player character to draw it. Almost got a chance to see it there. Oh! Oh, so close. Oh, I'm gonna look it up. I do not like the scoring in this game at all. It's like, oh, you spend all this time, you get nothing. <laughs> nothing! <laughs> efforts, efforts are worth nothing. <laughs> you get 50 points for your efforts. Oh, you tripped on a radio? You're fired! <laughs> fired! No, it technically just slows you down. Yeah! But you're not fired. You can keep going. No, no. Your whole day is reset. Okay, yeah. The radio only... No, no. Nope. You, sorry, not fired. You're now a volunteer police officer. You get no payment. <laughs> yes, that's... Because you touched that's a radio. <laughs> that's what I mean. Yes, the staircases are drawn with the player, player one, and Keystone Kelly is drawn with player zero, and the moving part is drawn with the ball, yes. Yeah, it's run with a four wide ball. Yep, yeah, that's how that's how it's done. And they must be removed. They have to be removed when you are in the same spot as the as the enemy. I missed. Did you get the stampede patch? Uh what did we get? What did I get? Three thousand three hundred? I got close-ish. Close-ish. Close enough that I will definitely try again next time. Um, oh, plane to the face. And a plane to the face is, is you're going to the hospital. They don't give you a... They don't just fire you. You're going to the hospital. The propellers are not doing so well no! with your face. Okay, reset, please. Steps of the ball. Yes. Now... The problem with this game is unless I figure out, I'm going to have to watch some videos on it because I'm nowhere near, nowhere near getting patch score. Oh, uh, you easily get a third of the way there because that's free. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Free at the beginning because you catch up so quickly, you get all the bonus. Yeah. So there's definitely an elevator strategy to it. Like you, you have to use the elevator and... Time it somehow with him. 
coming close to it. Yeah, because my first game, it was time. It was perfectly It was. Timed. It was it Like, was I, awesome. I caught on the elevator. I got on the elevator so regularly that I thought, why do they have an escalator? Like, yeah. I didn't get it. I was like, why is there an escalator? Of course you're going to take the elevator. It seems silly not to. And then it just wasn't timed anymore. It's, it's going up, so... Yeah. All right. Um, but... The enemy and the elevator are timed independent of anything you do. That's, in, until, that's the thing I don't get is why until you're on the, that six, shouldn't be random. You know, yeah. Until you're on the same level as the enemy. Because otherwise all it is is you ran, the computer, the program has randomly determined you will get fewer points. <laughs> it, it, yes. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah. Because it's... That's what it means. Like, you can't get the high score if the elevator is... Out of sync. Yeah. Yeah. You would have to be infinitely better. Okay, watch the elevator now. Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. But maybe waiting here is a good strategy. Just waiting. Waiting around. Even though your time is going down, it might be faster. It, it Significantly might, faster. It might be better because then it syncs up the elevator for future runs. Because the elevator seems to follow like, a certain sync. Like if I got it on, on it there, and even if it was going down... No, it's not. See, if, if I wait, and it does its cycle, he might be so timed up by the time it gets there. Like, look at that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's already at the bottom, and he's almost timed just up. Just wait. Yeah, just wait. Yeah. And he's always r already running that direction, too. Cool. Which is the positive direction that I can chase him. Yeah. But he's going to go down, though, isn't he? Or does he always go to the no. roof? He always goes He always goes uh, up if you chase him the right way. See, that's, I think, what we're missing. If he's going the correct way, he will be going up. Yeah, yeah. You so just that's it, the timing. Okay, what's the elevator situation here? Well, it has to be coming down because it's up. <laughs> Yeah, the, when you die, the elevator sequence maintains itself, so it's currently at the bottom. You can get in. There you go. Good. I think I think I figured out the elevator strategy. Is if he is on his normal path and you don't disrupt him and send him back the other way, you can di you can make it's, pretty good time. It still doesn't make sense for it to be random, not randomly timed. Because that still is just a nerf to your points if it isn't in your favor. And if it is in your favor, it's just three points. I don't think it's randomly timed. I think but it's But it is set. randomly timed. Because we reset the game every time. And resetting hasn't put it back to where it was when I first played it. Or unless I just died right away and like put the game into sequence. Like it is now. Yeah. Maybe that's all it was. I think when you die, it puts it in the sequence. Well, just t doing anything to slow down means that you change it puts it, where it is compared it change, to your timing. It changes the sequence of the elevator and the enemy. That's that's what the sequence needs to be changed. Okay. Elevator's coming down, which is not going to do any good for me right now. But maybe if I stay there. Yeah. That's an easy there. part to jump, jump over. It's going to time up exactly... Because he does. the enemy doesn't run any faster no matter how the levels progress. Yeah, but he starts where he starts compared to you, not compared to the elevator. Um, well, my theory right now is the elevator... Oh, I think this is going to be bad. He's going to run to the right, but I might be able to no, catch no, him. No, no, he's, he's going to... It's going to oh, be perfectly timed. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. See, oh, he's, he's going the other way. That's it was fine. too quick. It's fine. I think I can still catch him. No, you can't. <laughs> really? Maybe you can. Oh, oh with no, those with that thing. Oh, oh with those. Oh, those don't slow you down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Like, that feels like he... Uh, Cheated a bit there? Yeah, it does. <laughs> like... Uh, uh, not cheated, but like it, he wasn't on the map where he seemed to be. Yeah. That was weird. Once he goes the other way, it's weird. It's weird that you can't go down the escalator. Yeah, it is. It's a, 
That's that's what the elevator is for. There we go. That helped. Yeah. You have to get it so. And he's still looking behind him. I'm in the right position for him. He's still looking behind him. Uh, he's like, <laughs> it's like someone's chasing him and he's looking, looking for danger. Yeah. I don't know why he has a stick coming out of the back of his head. <laughs> truncheon. <laughs> uh, face colored truncheon. <laughs> Which works. Elevator situation. Do it anyway. Yeah. Too late now. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh, this is not going to be a good time. So that you don't get make. points for jumping the cart. Yeah. Because that would be pretty good. Maybe I should get off here. Yes, I should. Because oh, it's going to be in the wrong side of them. And that's what you have to do with the elevator to be on the correct side. Oh yeah. my god. Not enough time. Nope. If I have to deal with bouncing balls. But even if there was, like, you you don't gain points. True. <laughs> At least I don't lose life. For... Yeah, you you only get penalized by a life, which which is a penalty. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, maybe. Nope. Oh. oh. Any other theories? It's, he said, uh, Thrust says you can, can you position the the oh. elevator at the start of the game, example, by waiting or ending the previous game at the right time. Oh. And yes, the, well, yeah, it does. It is actually true, because the elevator doesn't stop moving regardless of what else is going on. It maintains it, its sequence between rounds. True. And so... But if only you, between. If you chase him a little longer... But you have to die to do that. No, no. You chase him a little longer, and then you'll sync up the elevator. Oh. Yeah. It costs you points. You'd have to be so but precise. It might, but and... it'll cost you more. No, I mean, you just you can catch up to him and just don't catch him quite as quick. Yeah. You'd have to have a very good understanding of the relationship between the elevator and the enemy to make Not it work Not very for you. good, just good enough. And... <laughs> sure, True. very good. But it would be very easy to be very good at that. Yeah. It just like be. right now, the elevator is. But it would be would it be worth the points? Mm, probably. If you do up. it right, then I'm gonna take the elevator. And it is worth the points because those are the only points. <laughs> really? Yeah, only significant. If points. you say basically, the question is, does it save you more time than it costs you? Yeah. That's the only question. That's right. Those are s such a surprise. They come on the screen immediately. There are legit three of them now, of those carts. <laughs> yeah, they're going going fast. Wow, you actually got points that time. Like, you got r real points. Oh, my God. And you just lost them all now. I did. Or lost future ones. <laughs> future points. Oh, the elevator's coming you down. You got another life. Did I? Excellent. The good thing is the elevator appears when the cart is off the screen. Like, there's a timing to the elevator. At yeah, that time, there were only two carts. So maybe you paused the previous time somewhere. Oh, hey, and it's clear. Now. I think I can get... Oh, my God. You can't Don't jump. Don't say them. things like that. I Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get cocky. You will be punished. Ah! Yeah! Yes! The good thing is that, that it's an airplane. Whoa. This is like pitfall. You have to like go back a bit. It's not a straight jump. Oh my god, there's a lot of things in the way. Yeah. Yay! Reprieve from an escalator. Yay! He's and cleared he, the screen for me. That's really good. And he must have gone. Oh my god. I just need a little bit more. 
life every time. Oh my god! Why am I getting so many lives? I'm not complaining. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> every. It's every. It's because you got a lot of points. Ah! Oh, oh it's because my you got god. a lot of points. It's, oh, that's okay. the reason. Oh. On its way down. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. That is not easy. You have to jump twice. And back off. No I'm going to take the elevator you. on the way up, if I can make it. <laughs> oh, no. No points for you. No points for me. Only death. Maybe I can just get enough. No. Okay. There. Yeah, actually, oh. you could run your face into an airplane on purpose <laughs> with the right timing. The uh, elevator's going up. Wait, wait. I'm going to. I'm going to wait. I think it might be coming down now. Yep. Yeah, it's down. It is. I swear it looked like it was going up, but... Uh, and it wasn't. I'm... Oh, it's backwards to me. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. Obstacles. Not that. God damn it. Oh, come on, come on. Just don't die. Well, you just, just lose a life. Just You're not going to get any points anyway. But I want those lives. <laughs> no, I'm not going to yeah, get any yeah. points. I mean, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you don't want to waste Whoa! Holy jumping. Literally jumping. Those weren't there. Are they changing the obstacles? No, I just ran into them. Yeah, ah. that's right. Oh my god, it's hard now. Oh my god. Oh, why so close? Oh! Okay, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, oh, Oh. <laughs> yep, that's true. <laughs> yep. So used to those hard ones to jump over that I didn't even remember that you can jump over them immediately. I was so close. I just have to get more points earlier. More points much earlier. But the elevators are the key to getting some points left over. And also, if I just play better <laughs> and not hit as many things, I would make up those points. I need help. Yes. Okay, good. At least I know that it is possible to get the patch now in this game. <laughs> I am so close to it. Possible for me, obviously. Many, many people have gotten this patch. So scared of those balls, those beach balls. Um, is it coming down? It is. Good. Ooh, some lucky breaks with the elevators this time. Really lucky breaks. Getting it every single time. I don't 
know about this elevator timing. Gary, what is with the elevator timing? Is it randomized every level? Is it start off exactly the same every level? Does it depend when you reset the system? Okay, it's coming. It's going up. Perfect. Is it perfect? I don't know. That was terrible. I forgot that the, um, the planes you have to duck twice right in it. Even on the first level. Oh, was it going down? Oh, I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Nope. Damn it. Maybe I should have taken it anyway. No, looks like I'm going to be at about the same time. Oh, it's got there a little bit faster. Oh, uh, we would have turned around anyway. He's not close enough. This made I died so early. Plane to the face when I shouldn't have. Like right there, I was almost thinking of just running right through the plane again. Ugh, no more, not many points on this one. almost always a good strategy to take the elevator up one level regardless, if you can. Oh, I can't. Because it seems to be good, 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 good timing. This one's going to be good, as long as I don't take a plane to the face. Oh, not great timing on the ele escalator there. They name escalators and elevators so similar. Well, obvious point. Obvious. Because they are similar things. Vator. Is that coming down? Yes, it is. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pass by. There we go. All these points due to running into things. Try and around. And the elevators at the top are close to the bottom. Well, I'm going for a win this time, so I don't want to do an experiment at the moment. But that would be a good thing to try out. Was it coming down? Come on. Come down. Come down, come down. No. Nope. I waited long enough anyway. Might as well do it now. Oh, let's go through a full cycle. Come on. Don't run into those. Yeah, there's some coming up. that before. I guess in the early levels there aren't, or I'm always chasing him close enough that I never see the stuff at the top level. Okay, elevators at the top. If I can make it in time, that would be really good. Psst. Damn it! Oh! Worst of all cases there. love, but they are distracting. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Pixel. There we go. Oh no, that's bad. I don't want that. I'll get it on the other way. I'll get it on the other way up. Because he should pass by me. And then I can catch him. It's not going to be great. We'll get some points. 
faster than running? Less dangerous? I don't know. It's funny these things have a mind of their own and they change directions, depending on what side of the screen you enter from. Ooh, there might be an obstacle. Nope. Uh -huh. Just caught him. It's uh, gonna be tough now. Okay, elevator's at the top. Might be able to do it. Yep. Sometimes it's just barely enough time. Good job, uh, buddy. Good job, damn it! Point, huh? I'll get some points. That's not a bad round, that's high up. Damn it! Double balls. Still haven't been able to uh, master them. Oh, oh, you mastered that elevator getting on. Uh, that's what I wanted. That that's was what I was amazing. missing. I was missing every single time I was at the end of the last game. Kept missing that elevator that you had two seconds to go on, or even one second to go on. Okay, this would be a decent, decent gush. <laughs> no, it's all good. He's cleared yeah, it. You got He's him cleared now, it. Yeah. As long as you get him on the screen, even a pixel of him, yeah, it's good. cleared. Yeah. Oh, these balls again. I think I can. Uh, no, I tried the theory of jumping yeah, the did. timing, but no. Yeah, yeah. They go in sync, so you can't do that. Ooh, is this coming down? No, no. Oh, it's up. It's okay. Oh, that's clear now. You almost want it to take a little bit longer now. Get on there. No, I'm going to wait a whole other round. Yeah, I don't really... And then, he'll be, it, so. then he'll be passing by just by me. Because the timer's too low now. Just, it's too dangerous. Oh, I don't even know if I have enough time to get him now. Damn it. Come on. You didn't have time to get him the other way, I don't think. I no, uh, not, that's I why know. I tried for this. All that for nothing. And these balls again. Oh yeah, I didn't finish this level. Like, how do you do that within, like, a good amount of time? Boo. Stop it! Bad cat! Bad cat. Oh, it's weird. It's randomized. Those balls... Oh my god. Is this where I died last time, too? Stop it, please, cat. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do the same strategy. And just not get hit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother round. No, I'm gonna have to go up one and run for it. No, no, you. you. Damn it. <laughs> How about a plane to the face? So slow going through those. Elevator. It's going up. Okay, I think I want it anyway. Just to go up one level at least. No lives left. <laughs> Why? Oh no! My nemesis that I don't think I've ever successfully gone through.
can do it. Can you reset it? Because it wastes like a second. Yep. Thank you. And this is where all the points come from. Massive this points. This first round. Because the points don't get more as you they, go on. It just, you get less. It said it, in the oh, thing that they went up. It said that in the thing Something it went, they is... I'm going to look at this elevator. Look at it. Yeah. Wait. Reset. Oh, that's so cheaty. Because it doesn't reset. No. So it, That's what I thought, actually. Oh, that, that's so terrible. Turn it off and on again. Turn the computer off and on again. No, no, it's, it's finicky cartridge. I'm not going to do that. What? That's where I want it to be. It's a finicky cartridge. It'll take a long time to reset. Oh, maybe you don't want it that quickly. No, oh, no, that was good. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, that's, that's really... That, that, that's crazy. That explains a lot. my confusion. Because yeah. when I first played it, I ran right up and jumped into the uh, yes. elevator. And I did it like three times. And I thought, oh, this is easy. This is what you do. Like that. That's not good. <laughs> so now it's going to be timed up again pretty good. By the time I get there, yeah. I just have to wait a little bit. So that's helpful. <laughs> yeah. At least for the beginning. How, how long you take to do things, or if you accidentally run into something. Yeah. At least to get a little bit, little bit more points at the beginning of the game. Thrust says, now you got it. Yep. So you can game the game. And if, and if that's the way it's programmed, then that's what you do to it. Go. It's 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 at the right spot. Like that's how it was uh, two games ago. I started off like this, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's so good! Everything's going in in my direction." And I was really close that game, like a thousand away from from getting the score. Good points round. Yep. Take that to the bank. Very good. Oh, it's at the top. I don't think I'll get it this time. No. No. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it just delayed just long enough. Got him faster than ever. Yeah. Like. Yeah, like, on that screen. Usually it's the next one. Yeah. Wow. It's it's all due to the obstacles too. Yeah. Actually, it shouldn't be. I get off the elevator. The obstacles after I take the elevator. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Oh no! That's a Darcy obstacle. <sighs> just not prepared for those. <laughs> They're just in your face immediately. Very scary. Not terrible, but.
been almost exactly the same if you'd waited. Right. Because it arrived just mm. as you, just after you went by. I guess in theory you are slightly better off not waiting, but I get more. it's riskier. It is because there's more <laughs> obstacles. This isn't gonna be a great round. I mean, careful of those radioactive radios. Yep. <laughs> Only in Brazil. <laughs> Not a waste of your time, uh, round. No, nope. I got him. I think your your number of men maxes out at three, so you can't kind of buffer it. Buffer them. Oh. Uh. Oh. oh! Damn it! The timing of the elevator seems good right now. It does. If I can make it there. Yeah. Okay, good. Airplane. Oh, cat! Cat! Stop it! Come on, cat! <laughs> you know James is upset when he says cat! Instead cat! Of name of cat. <laughs> you, the gray cat! Actually, I always call him gray. Gray cat and a black and white cat. Okay, that was good. What Decent, I mean. Come here, you big floppy flop. This level. I need to stop losing my. Oh, and the last one? Come on! Is it coming down? No, it's going up. take and is it better off just to eat them uh, <laughs> no not. i think you lose a lot i think you lose a lot on those guys oh Yay! Okay, I've got them under control now. Psst! These cats! Stop doing things! Stop destroying things, please. While I'm trying to get high scores. <laughs> it's not the destroying of things. It's the high scores. It's the distraction. Because they want attention and they want food. And it's not even time for their food. That's the problem. Yeah, I know. Oh! Wrecked! All my points. All my points. 
<laughs> nope. Come here. Come on, mister. Oh. Okay. Please shut the door. I heard the cats. No, in the other word. I heard them shut. Yeah. Usually works better. Thank you. I just couldn't do it with those cats. I'm always looking at them out of the corner of my eye. Even while they're out there. I hear you. Fudge a duck. Really? At 28? Or was yeah, it done? I, I was just not getting the high points. <laughs> so cheaty. It's not cheaty, though. <laughs> It's not the game. It's no. Uh, it's what I said before. If if getting a high score requires you to randomly get the <laughs> elevator there and you can control for it, then you yeah. should just control for it because otherwise you're just spinning your wheels until you get the elevator there. Yep. Or you could do it another way, which is more gamey, which is uh, arrange for your your round to end. That's true. Your last life to end just as the elevator's in the right spot. Yeah, that was really good. Cool. It was much sooner. Yeah, I mean that's harder to, to control for. But the point is that you can do you it. can do it, and it's the only sensible thing to do, given mm -hmm. that that's the only way to get those points. Yeah. Everybody's all focused on what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've all left. No, come on, I'm really close. You only need ten times as many points as you have right now. <laughs> that's right. Not close in this game. But I have now got the uh, beach balls under control. Those, those medium doubled ones. The, the way to actually get that score is to stop running into things when you're getting those points. Yeah. Because it just decimates your, your score. Like, to, to nothing. You get 50 points there, 100 points at the end for the one second left you have. It is very, it's a very unusual game in the fact that you get all the points in the first couple rounds. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a game where that, it works that way. And I gave it a bit more time before I reset this time because of this level to give myself just a bit more time to get there. Mm -hmm. And so far it's working. Yep. Also, later you will need it just to even have an option yeah. because you have to move slower. Yeah, there's so many s obstacles that slow you down. have to get that one. That's the level where you, if you miss it, you're in trouble. That's a lot of good points. But now the sink, it's kind of, well, it might be out of order. You might be okay if you, because you're going to get them so quick here, you might be... Ooh, that's where I want it. Right there. Just on the way up. Yeah. I mean, maybe a bit before because things are taking longer to get through. Maybe not, no. Good. Actually, really good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad I figured out the strategy. <laughs> oh! Oh! Boo! Just get me every time I play this level.
every time I run into this bloody shopping cart right before I get on the elevator. Probably because it's going so fast. There's no time to get on. No, don't run into the radio. Go to the top. Go to the top. He's no, close. no. Because no. he's closer to you now. <sighs> no, because he turned. I don't think he was close enough. He'll turn he around. was more than halfway. Oh, uh, but it does depend on when he turns around. If you're still stuck in the elevator. Yeah. Yeah, he turns around the moment your elevator door closes. I think. Uh, does it? Yeah. Or yeah, or when it starts going up, which is so close to the same thing. Well, you don't see it go up, so. Yeah. Okay, we'll reset to a decent, decent timing. I might have to deal with something here. Nope. Oh, good. Hopefully that's going up. We'll see what I what's being thrown at me here. Not too bad. If I get on now. Ha! Huh. It's nice that there's planes there because ducking is the thing you want to do when you come. That's that's how you get out of the elevator is to duck. Damn it. So you can be on the same screen. Yes. by design having that plane on the second. He's so close to you now. Seems like it's worth the try. <laughs> because Maybe. he's so close to the upper elevator there. Maybe. Just because it doesn't work sometimes doesn't mean there isn't a point in which it does work is all I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, but it is pretty now. much like the end of the world if it doesn't work. <laughs> it is. But at the same it time it is the end of the world. But at the same work. time it gets you so many points if it does work. Right, and you skip a lot of the, the danger. Death, death. Doesn't matter. Well, the elevator is in good position. Is it just, it's going it up. is. It is a good position, thankfully. It's just about down to you. Damn it. Oh, no points. But at least I'll get them. You're coming down now because it's at the top. Oh, that was very close. Oh, God. Oh! And it's and the end. Later. It's beginning of the end. It's going up? It's going up. Okay. the levels go, it's probably more worth it. Just taking the elevator because some of this stuff is so slow, slowing you down. <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't think it's even possible to win without using the elevator in these higher levels. Yeah. I, Especially I if you hit something. Different. I think I would disagree. Yeah. Yeah, that... <laughs> I would, actually, it's going, it's so, going fast. so fast, you probably don't even have to run at it anymore. You probably just jump. Probably, yeah. That is true. That is very helpful, actually. Yeah. It's so fast. on the roof now. <laughs> Arr, I know I can do this. Oh. Yes, please. Thank you. I pressed game oh. select. Oh, you did? That's yeah. not good. Oh, there's no games. Huh. Hmm? There are no different games. Oh. So that's good. Here. Oh, it's fine. Oh, now it's not. Hmm? It was at a good, good spot. I didn't touch it. Yeah. So. Okay. But I hesitated. Ah, uh, yes. And about there. I this will be my last one. Just getting to a point in the game where you know it is completely possible to win mm -hmm. is enough. It's just about if you make all the right moves. Yeah. Like if I don't get hit by anything and do the exact same thing as I did last time, mm -hmm. then I could get the score. just make it mm -hmm. on like level four or five but the thing is you can't get ahead uh you can because i captured him oh, you just have to, a little you bit have later to, yeah you have to capture him quickly enough yeah to stay ahead i think this is the level where it's like oh just make it see now i have a little bit more time this time but after this i think it's pretty Yeah, it's just a case of you have to stop too many times. But I think you always have to take the elevator at a certain point. It's just because things, the obstacles are too crazy. You got more points this time than uh, you did the previous time. Yeah, 
elevator timing. <laughs> you had good elevator timing last time, but yeah. I did. I did have very good elevator timing. But something happened because you're at 14 instead of 13 something. It's not a huge difference, but... Yeah, every little bit it's helps. A, it's an indicator. Yes. Barely. Aligning that guy up is not easy. Damn it! Every, every time. That's what kills me. Like how, many, how many points does it take off? I don't know. I ten, I think. I, I think... I don't know what it is. Try and pay attention to it. But yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't get it's, it's just, again. You mostly don't hit the things. Yeah, so you never know what's going to happen. Yes. yes! To get m the most points. Because that's the hardest part. It is better to die. Oh, I didn't get that. Do that again. What? Oops. It's better to die. Yeah, that's no, me. that's a good point. That, <laughs> that was a very good uh... observation. You do get men back. At a not insubstantial uh, rate, you get men back pretty, pretty quick. Especially if you get a good, uh, a good score. up pretty easily if you don't have to move. Come on. a good stroke of luck there. So at this point it's all luck. There's no, no timing. Actually like the shopping carts. They're so easy. They don't slow you down. Yay, a clean one. Really? Yeah, I think it is 10. 
You know? That's a lot. <laughs> so you can only get hit like twice before it's pointless. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> pointless. So, what do you think? Is he going to be close enough? I think he is. I think you have nothing to lose by trying. Yeah, because my... I have three lives. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Just die. <laughs> Just die. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. That's right. So there's two opportunities. One is doing the second elevator, or the second floor, and one is a third floor catch. Third floor is much riskier. Uh, it, it's not even so much, it's, I mean, it's risky until you don't know the time, until you know the timing. Yeah. Um, and it's really a question of how long does it take for you to learn the timing. Yeah. Really? Those are easy. How could I screw them up? Oh, why? The pain. I did it. I did it. Did what? Got my patch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to ask what it was because I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't I got be it. sure that it wouldn't uh, jinx you. Gary, are you still here? Dan? <laughs> are you still here? <laughs> see my accomplishment where so many thousands of others have gone before <laughs> it's like those pictures of everest have you ever seen i'm sure you saw those pictures of everest where there's lineups to get to the top now um, because it's so such a common thing yeah they were all just waiting in anticipation yeah <laughs> Clearly, was the uh, decision to kill yourself. Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. I mean, there were lots of keys, but that was like. A, yeah, it definitely got me ahead. Which is a strange thing, strange strategy in games. Oh, God. It doesn't matter, but. That's a nice score. Whoa! 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 Oh my um, God. The cards have slowed down. Thank goodness. Well, I actually no, like the fast cards. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> fast cards are good. They, they slowed down to screw you up. Ooh, I don't think I can do it to the top. I think I have to go for a second. Oh my God. Oh, you have to actually duck that way now. All right, I'm coming for you. Ah, not enough time. You have to jump. And jump right away. I think I'm gonna die. On purpose. Die. On purpose. On purpose. Oh, Screw up the timing. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa. 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 <laughs> so fast. <laughs> yeah, slower carts are annoying. Can't stay in one spot. Is it coming? This one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to the top. Going to the top. Perfect. He turns around. There is the door sh just after the door shut. Cheeky Danny K says, uh, We'll have Jan send one out to you. Jan? Really? Oh my god, thank you so much. That's awesome. Who Jan is? Who's Jan? Is that Gary's wife? Oh, damn it. Well, you uh, got a really good one, obviously, because you're oh, well into the it. 40s now. Did I? Yeah, I must have got a decent one there. Whoop, 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 <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> Yeah, 
Oh, good. Stop. Ooh, we're going to get off of this floor, I think. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I can't. You have to jump immediately. That's not too bad if you have to jump immediately. You don't have to turn around. Magnets after this. Radios. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I and may Bob have Bob. time. No, no, these things. Oh, God. These are new. These are terrible. Finally. Okay, I'm glad I didn't give up. Oh. No, she used to head up the consumer relations department responsible for sending out all the patches. Oh my god. So I'm actually getting one from Activision then. Wow. That's pretty cool. From X Activision. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so thank you so much, Dan. That's amazing. And I got actually a pretty good score. Yeah, like yeah. 35 is the, the threshold, and that's 44. That's how it goes. <laughs> you either do it you or you don't. You don't, you don't just barely <laughs> make it. You like struggle to get there, and then whoosh. That's true. Actually, the, the frostbite was quite a bit over, and the um, spider fighter was, was a, quite a bit over, too. It was yeah. quite good. Oh, thanks for hanging in, everyone. We're, um, I'm starving. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um, it's 3.30, but... Uh, I'd... First meal of the day! First meal of the day for him. <laughs> um, um, but I would have rather pushed through that extra little bit and get it done. Because I knew I was close. I knew I... Just if I didn't screw up those little things, yep. I would have made it. And that's what... Like Stampede, that's different. That's yeah, like... Yeah. That's just hard playing all the way through. Like And it needs... And luck a little need... bit. You need some. You need practice. Mm. You were close on that one too, though. I was. I was getting there, but I didn't feel that I was. Got a good strategy, and this once one you, I knew. Once we figured out, once we got that three. Read three. about the three and three, and then the two and four. The three and three like revolutionized the the game. Again. Oh, only if it had a time machine, but I can send you a photocopy of the patch. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'll send, are you sending out a patch or not? No, I'm confused. <laughs> Either way, thank you very much for the <laughs> copy or not. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm glad I do that. Did that and stampede. Uh, I still will have to do stampede. This example guy doesn't have to avoid any of the uh, obstacles. He just runs right through them. Yeah, it's usually what happens with uh, the example games. You don't have to program too much. No, not much AI. So you just turn off all the collisions except for the end guy. Um, these are the next ones coming up. Mega Mania and Freeway. But I think I might do Freeway because you can play two players at the same time. Ah. Simultaneously trying to get the score because you're independent of each other completely. Um, so I'll throw that one in the mix next time, I think. That is the old joke about the chicken crossing the road. And it's a chicken crossing the road. And there's a lot of traffic. So it's a chickener? Oh, he's going to text one to me. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's an ASCII, ASCII code. So you get a little bit of roundness. You can use characters. <laughs> <laughs> you can't text ASCII code. You can do like a get, uh, line by line. Get laser cut one into some acrylic or something. That's true. Um, so next Wednesday, we're going to be playing uh, QB. Uh, cave in and bit quest some rpgs and kind of a puzzle puzzle actiony one there 
Um, so I want to thank all the people that stuck with me through this arduous task of getting the patch. But I got in one day, which is pretty good. Um, so thanks to uh, Dan Kitchen, uh, Splendid Nut. Yeah, QB is very cool. Um, Thomas Yentz, a Thrust 26. Uh, Gary Kitchen, of course, the person who made um, made uh, Keystone Capers, which is is an honor for have for me having him watch me getting the patch for Keystone Capers in one day. Um, cool. So thank you very very much for tuning in. That is amazing. Uh, Dan AVC, Ground Trooper, uh, Nathan Strum, um, and I know. Lord Monkus also here, and also, oh, I supposed to was here as well. Thunkist, Deanoid, RC70, actually a lot of people are here today. And Arena Foot as well, and Shadow. So thank you everybody for tuning in. He sent it in Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> My patch, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Went from a real patch to a photocopy, to a text. Actually, Messenger is a step up from text. What else could you do? You could uh, send it through a... Put a photo Morse code. in Messenger. Oh, you could send a photo in a Messenger. That's yeah. true. Yeah, but texting. Actually, you could text one as well. If it's like... I was thinking like text, text. Ah, uh, I But you see. could text a photo, like SMS. A photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Nathan Strum. Um, and thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll be back um, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. as per usual. And remember the uh, Stella uh, fundraising is in two weeks exactly. Well, not exactly, but on the day. on uh, not, not next Friday, but the Friday after where we'll be auctioning off a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll be doing challenges. Um, homebrew challenges. Trying to complete some games. Trying to get some high scores. Trying to get some world records. Get my world record back for Wall Jump Ninja. <laughs> Ooh, that guy. <laughs> and um, yeah, a whole bunch of other fun things. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to join us for that. And uh, we will see you then. Bye bye.